And good evening everybody, welcome back for some Sim 6 action, we're gonna have tonight actually a new patch, BBG did put out a new patch, BBM did put out a new patch, we've seen MPH put out a new patch and it does seem like we're gonna have the players learn the new meta again. By the looks of it, let me actually take a look and also us, right? Everybody else will need to learn the meta. Uh, taking a look at what's going on here, they did start off on the pick and ban phase a little bit earlier than I was expecting. I'm still waiting to actually get into the lobby. That's why I'm saying, oh, there we go, there we go. Clicking your buttons over here to get in. Uh, also, hello. I'd wanna say hello to everybody. As you are uh, looking at the screen, you're gonna see all of the um, uh, picks and bans of the players. Uh, right now, they did go for the map tilted axis oh my god we're actually gonna have oh the, the comeback after a little bit of while i gotta say i did have a few days that i did need to rest a little bit get my energy back especially after all of that you know experience with the cwc oh my god we've actually gone quite a road now we're gonna need to wait for all of the um, other tournaments to start for cpf premier league for the cvfr squadrons and also for the roots of the cup that we actually have the qualifiers this uh weekend i do want to um I'll say hello to everybody here in chat. Perikanav, hello there, sir, and welcome. Lancer, good evening, sir, and welcome. Rambly man, hello, hello there, sir. Yes, it is. It is actually quite dark. Uh, you know, we, we are way past that um, longest day in the year. So, yeah, now it's all going down. <laughs> um, let me see. Lumatics, also good evening, sir. First training since the creation of uh, for the animalere, um, animalerie. Yes, sir. And if I'm not mistaken, I did actually search on uh, Google Translate what does uh, Lani Maleri mean and it means pet shop I think so maybe maybe somebody that knows uh, you know French can actually tell us the Romanian Dark Ages whoa no it's just night it, it's just night <laughs> a night thrower hello there sir and the welcome I did also notice our uh, Raja hello there sir and good evening uh, Lancer, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. And yes, indeed, I'm actually quite curious how uh, Magnus will be uh, played, actually, in the games. I do want to see how uh, the players are actually going to make use of um, that. Uh, give me a second. External policy cards and top panel extension. Okay. Um, I do need to actually get some mods over here. That's why uh, I got booted off. So, let's see. Top panel. Bam. We get this. Just give me a second. And then... What was it? Notification clear notification clear there we go we need to move my microphone a little bit to the right here mm -mm -mm. okay there we go got both of them uh, rejoining i do want to switch the screen so we can actually see the not this what is the okay this this okay this this okay um quite a few bands i do see los Sonat is going to be on the left side the lani Mareri is going to be on the right side we do have tilted access as the map the cti is going to be the first one being taken out by los Sonat, and then they're going to take out uh, spain on the right side it does seem like uh, both both of the um, Norwegian leaders have been taken out, both Varangian and uh, Konge, while I do notice also Maori is going to be taken out by Ilani Merleri. Uh, both Japan's also being taken out by Lusenat. Oh my god, what is this happening over here? I mean, sure, I totally understand they do want to take out these naval civilizations very, very quickly on tilted axis. Most of the time, we do see them smashing heads over there with the boats. Um, Good enough, and then you dingo. Hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. I did uh, see Fortuna Belly. Hello there, good morning, sir, and welcome. Wait a second, I have Nitro. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 26 months. Oh, hello, sir. Good evening, and thank you so much. England enjoys. Are at it again? Yes, sir. They're definitely going to pick quite a few England over here. England personas. Uh, they do have an array of them to pick from. Uh, also, coming back to what's going on here in the chat. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Nemesis. Hello, sir, and uh, good evening. Um, I did also notice Fortuna Belly did pick up that first promotion. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, welcome. And welcome again. Uh, Pig Maya. Mm, on Tilted Axis. Mm, 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 I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that, man. Um, I do want to also say uh, the last two civilizations that have been chosen. It looks like Indonesia has been taken out by Lani Maldari. And on the left side, Lotsonat is going to take out Sumeria. I also think I need to click on uh, this so I can actually click on the map and then uh, click on uh, what's going on over here mm, tilted axis is gonna be the map for tonight 
Okay, there we go. There we go. I see the title. 20 City Spam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it might happen. Uh, easy mode. Good evening, sir. And welcome. Uh, good evening, my friend, I should say. If you know about me, uh, wait a second. You're for Hamburg, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from what I saw, uh, beta streams is Moksha first into Pingala. Moksha is very, very strong. I actually got um, a few games uh, under my belt today. Not all of them actually to completion because, uh, yeah, you know, technical difficulties, uh, different versions and stuff like that some people didn't uh, actually get a golden age because guess what there was a bug in the initial um, um update for bbm which significantly lowered the, the frequency of, of the huts oh my god oh no the spawning frequency of the huts i i actually didn't I, uh, didn't say that um term yeah yeah so we barely had like maybe one hut between us like four of us five of us were yeah five of us Woo, that's a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rome will get picked. Boring. I do think actually Rome is gonna get picked. Uh, curious. Let's see. We do have Portugal also being uh, banned by Lanimar Levy. I do see Dido is gonna be picked by Losonat. Uh, and uh, on the other side, Dutch and Mongolia Genghis are gonna be picked up. I mean, Dutch definitely, I, I do have to agree with it. Genghis Khan, okay. I mean, I'm looking forward to see for uh, some two, plus 12 action on the seas over there. Don't get me wrong, the extra deep ball still works. Now, we do have Losenat also going for uh, Catherine de Medici to try to counterbalance a little bit that um, power spike of Genghis Khan. We're going to need to also see if um, uh, Catherine is going to want to pick Naval and also uh, try to also benefit from the extra bonuses that he has on... on she has he has on the um, uh, spies uh, well let's actually see what they're gonna ban next we do have uh, two more six for each and uh, we're gonna see how this goes uh, did you guys see by the way uh, the sun actually threw at us like three uh cmes one after the other oh my god i i don't think i've ever seen that since like i don't know i've been actually watching the sun uh throw of these uh, cmes for like i don't know 12 years or something no more 14 years and I've never seen three in sequence like this. Incredible. Uh, Pets full ban Norway, so Senate full ban Japan, Portugal and Spain both getting banned. Feels obvious, yeah. Netherlands, this is gonna be fun. Let's actually see if he's gonna get the opportunity to get the Sevens on the field. Or I should say on the Seven Seas, maybe? No, no, that doesn't sound right. It's, it's a different map, but it sounds so good if you actually couple it with the boats. Anyway, soon the Anta is also gonna be taken out by Losonat. That's one of the Mali leaders. And uh, yeah, quite a few players are starting to have some something against him we do have montezuma also uh, being taken out by losonat with only two bands to go let's actually see what they're gonna have to choose from you know, without taking into account these come on come on let's see let's see they didn't actually touch either of the like none of the englands they didn't touch any of the Englands, i should say right any of them wow so everybody wants to go england next here is this what's gonna happen we're gonna have england being played out full board england and then a little bit of uh, rome sprinkled in um at least they don't open with england anymore uh, you think i mean uh yeah they don't open in the first four yeah on another note i'm pretty tilted with bpg's decision to make every sieve unlock fisheries before campoons is available uh we, yeah mm, mm. Oh, well, I mean, they're not that good, to be honest, the fisheries. Come on, w w what's good about them? They're not really that, they're not that good. Um, also, Jacob, hello, there's said on the YouTube. I just realized that I should actually uh, take a quick peek at the chat on YouTube. Good evening, everybody, and I do hope you're going to have a good time with me tonight. Uh, Royal Dragoons, also, um, it is a 4v4, sir. Welcome, good evening. Uh, ta -ta 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 yeah, yeah okay uh if australia doesn't get banned i'll be shocked if nobody picks him yeah i mean i don't there's no reason to ban or pick australia at the moment there is no reason i think that's i mean i would imagine if people are talking about magnus being taken out like this uh, like a lot of people are talking about oh my god the total nerf of magnus total disappearance of magnus from everywhere and so on 
Look at Australia. Look, look at what's happening with uh, John Curtin over here. He got that nerf and mm, 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 he's just not appearing anywhere anymore, right? That was the only thing that kept him up over there and there uh, that got thrown down, cut down. I do see Brazil is going to be picked up by Lani Marie uh, and uh, Luz Donat will need to pick up the next two saves. Uh, we did have the last two bands. It looks like on the left side, it, uh, it was um, Elizabeth I being taken out. And England actually ending up with, with a ban. How could they? We do have on the right side also Theodora Byzantium Nation being taken out by Lani Marie. There still is Basil the second available from Byzantium, but I would re seriously doubt they're gonna want to go for Basil the second on this particular map on uh, how to say on tilted axis. And I think the yeah, I think I'm pretty sure the music was a little bit too loud. Now uh, Nidersha is also gonna be picked up by uh, Le Sonat, and we do have a fourth pick available for them since uh, they are uh, the first pickers. So uh, they will need to reveal their roster before Lani Marie and their opponents will actually get to uh, pick up their fourth nation. And let's actually see they do have uh, 42 seconds to go, and they're gonna need to choose something here. Uh, fisheries plus Auckland. Mm -mm -mm, if you're lucky enough to actually have Auckland, uh, John Curtin's here. Yeah, yeah. He's not getting picked, is he? Rambling man. Good evening, sir. Now getting picked. Mm. Uh, Canada would be amusing just to see if he gets a corner or central placement, but never happened. Yeah, we've seen actually players try out on Tilted Axis multiple times. I should have to say, um, Russia didn't work out that well, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah, you know, like mm, the press kind of struggled over there to get everything going. And we do have actually Lusonata going for Mapuche. Interesting uh, pick over here, still has that plus five on the um, um, civilizations that will be in a golden age or heroic age. And of course, that works on uh, the naval boats. It might be good. It might be good. We do need to see. We do need to see. On the right side, Lanimari will need to actually pick up their fourth. They already have kind of two coastals, although Brazil is not always spawning coastal. He can affect the game when it gets to Minas Gerais. Uh, yes, yes, that's actually quite late on the culture tree. But mm, 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 if you do manage to get them and you do manage to actually have somebody and that built a lot of caravels and so on. You just stomp the map, you get control over those seas. And we do have uh, Kublai Khan uh, taking a look over here. Okay, okay, Kublai. Kublai has been uh, picked. Okay, I think I need to actually start up the game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, starting up the game right now. Click. I don't know how... Uh, well, I guess I know how, but anyway. Um... Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Also, Baxter, hello, Darsen, and welcome. I thought they reverted the, his uh, pasture back. Did they? Actually, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me uh, put that on the screen here. Uh, pu -pu 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 -pu. What is it? First, first things first. Priorities. There we go. Uh, trying to get in. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Beta build. Let's see. Uzetian, Magnus, Kublai, Drums of War. Nothing about uh, Australia. Nothing about Australia. Uh, nothing about Australia in the previous one. Nothing about Australia here on uh, the 590D. Oh my god, extended policy cards is missing right now. You know what? I'm just gonna open up. Give me a second. Auto download enabled. Okay. Uh, these are all UI mods, and usually they should be fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the players will start to join the lobby. With mm, This should have happened a little bit earlier, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. We're taking it slow. It's still summertime over here in Europe, and I gotta say the sun mm -mm, is uh, sending quite a few waves of uh, energy towards us. Now, I think that was uh, China Kublai. I think that was China Kublai, yes. Um, or well, no, wait, actually, it is. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me a second. I, sh I think I should ho be able to hover, no? Uh -uh. It doesn't tell us. Let's see him here. And do we have, yeah, it's China. It's China. We got a confirmation. It's uh, with the red behind them, not um, green. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah. Oh, let me see if I can find actually that movie um, from what happened. 
Is this the one? Give me a second. No, not this one. Not. Okay. There we go. I can actually grab this. This is what happened a few days earlier. Like on Friday, I believe. Thursday or something. Then you can uh, you can see the waves. So check this out. Can you see them? Is it uh, is it up? Good evening, chill breeze. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Also, I had a class. Hello there, sir, and welcome. This is uh, this is what the sun just did. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, these are all projections. It didn't actually happen like this. Uh, from what I understand, uh, the waves actually were slower. <laughs> for nine what? Oh, how did that happen? Like, that that's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, let's actually see. Can I actually swap? And I did notice a notification here. And Sasu, bonsoir, monsieur, et bienvenue. Thank you so much. So much for the nine months. Much appreciated, sir. Um, Lumatics also, I did answer that. Okay, we should be fine. Okay, let me get the chats in order over here on the left side. This, there we go. Did I? Did, 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 did? Okay, there we go. I kept, oh my god. Uh oh. I think somebody just disappeared. Yeah, somebody just disappeared over there from the lobby. He's a ghost. Ah, he's gonna come back. It's fine. He's, he should come back, or I hope. It's gonna be fine. Anyway, uh, get my chat in order over here. Click, 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 click. Pop out chat. Click, click. There we go. Hey, I know these emotes, the Satina emotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, la last uh, five hype. Woo. Um, I don't class to ask your question. Is this game played on a US beta? Yes, it is with the US beta with the Magnus change. I wouldn't really call it like a big nerf. Uh, I mean, a nerf. It is a change, right? It, it does get uh, its 1-1 one, one, and then it does get its 20% um, um, production. Let me actually put it up on the screen. Click, 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 click. So we did have a bit of a change over here. Drums of War, culture on kill reduced to 40%. Kublai, science and culture reduced to 1 per 20 tiles. Uh, Magnus, 20% growth and trade uh, ending in the city. Plus 1 food and production. Then uh, we do have also on the left tree, on the second option, 20% production towards units, buildings and districts. Uh, Moksha also did get uh, quite a bit of an upgrade over here, plus to culture and food for internals and allows for to pay by district with 10% discount. Um, I think we need a relobby. Okay, uh, what did happen over here with the mods? Let me give me a second. So I was missing this and the okay, interesting because uh, usually in the French scene we don't actually have these mods um, <clears throat> used, and right now looks like they started to use them. Mm, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Uh, on the um, right tree, one plus four great profit points per turn when the city has a holy site, allowed to face by holy site buildings with a 20% discount. Uh, free promote for monks and apostles, they can be bought with 20% discount as well as support units. While Uzeti and Combat Strength from Recon only works on uh, land units. Uh, also, language updates Chinese, French, blah blah blah, and they get updated. UI, our money traders should display the yields above. Oh, thank you so much, by the way, for this. Thank you so much. It was so confusing. You, are, you basically were uh, doing that on Facebook right you are you are sending those traders just faithfully knowing that you're actually gonna get those yields on them no, we should be fine we should be fine just uh, need to refresh over here and let the players uh, join up uh, maybe i should get the last two mods let's actually get the last two mods because you know we, we don't want to cause more more troubles uh, in the game uh subscribe the items no not this we got this we got this we got this so we need two more policy cards uh bomb we need this and then we do need this because the uh, ones work one works with the other so yeah they come in packs these days updating updating let's let it update play uh, i gotta say i'm not really fond of the extra launcher over here it just like takes 10 more seconds out of li our lives for nothing um, anyway.
Um, after you mentioned that video about Siege on European Chinese, you have probably seen 20 hours of Siege on YouTube. The rabbit hole is real. Yes, sir. I mean, yes. There are, I mean, to be honest, it's amazing how much um, or diversity it, uh, it is in tactics according to the area they are in, right? The culture and the so on. It's uh, quite a different approach from one side of the planet to the other side of the planet yeah uh, uko supreme also who good evening sir senate will destroy the um pet shop pet shop sir let's not call them that okay okay the pet shop because i i that's how it is right lani mary lani maleri is actually a pet shop um we got the hype going yeah uh, romania did pretty well with the olympics i did hear that yes i did hear that uh what can i say let me actually see if I should actually make a lobby because I did get a bit of a disconnect there. Give me a second. Click, click, click this. And now clicking on this, we should be going in, connecting to players. Yep. There we go. There we go. We're in. Ratifi, bon so much for video. Okay, we're just gonna need to swap with uh, one of the players over here in the top one where it's fine the players are joining and they're also picking up their uh, slots let's actually see one 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 two two one two one and bam one two okay should be fine we should be fine we should be good to go in the next uh, five minutes i think i can put up the remap choice because i'm pretty sure they're gonna want to have a vote at 10 10 so let's put it up how many remaps zero one two submission period let's put it for 10 minutes because i'm pretty sure we got time we got time i think i only have one mention about the olympics one mention i think it is extremely hard to have two people from the same country actually getting exactly the same score especially in gymnat gymnastics maybe you know more about gymnastics than me but i believe that was quite an achievement just saying just saying okay so oh i think uh, i can actually talk a bit about this right we do have um, the rosters changed a little bit let's actually see lani maleri is a new team so they are over here we do have trt with the miu miu fancus uh, jules for art vtc and portos uh, showing up on their side i think this is actually wait a second this is uh wasn't this the second team of um Le Ornith uh, Le ornithorynx roses isn't that I think it is. I think it is. And then we do have a Lusonat, which is over here with Ibanka, Marvin, uh, 1708. Yo, Sugary with Pebbleton, Landel, and Ascom. Uh, who did they show up uh, today? <gasps> no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Marvin Pebbleton uh, with uh, t -t -t Ibanka and Sugary will be from Losanat. Uh, Portos, Jules Art, uh, Damium and Fankus will play today for Lani Maleri. We do have Nader Shah being uh, chosen as the top uh, one for top priority. Fankus is going to get uh, Wilhelmina for the next one. Damium with Pedro II. Uh, Pebbleton on Lotaro. I do also notice uh, Ibanka will pick up uh, Daido. We don't know Jules for Art. Uh, what will he go? Uh, there we go. Kublai Khan, China. Uh, Sugary also Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. And Portos will go for Genghis Khan in the last slot. I'm actually a bit concerned about uh, their um, civilization choices over here, especially since it is tilted axis. We, I was uh, expecting a lot more naval civilizations on this map than uh, so many land civs, right? We have like Catherine de Medici, Genghis Khan, uh, Lotaro over here, Nader Shah. All of them are kind of Kublai Khan, China also, right? All of them are kind of uh, specialized on land rather than uh, seas. Although, yes, some of their bonuses can work on the seas, they don't have have uh, the bonuses towards like admirals they don't have bonuses towards you know, harbors building them faster and so on and so forth like england does right so you do get quite a bit of an extra advantage from that not to mention free boats <laughs> i mean who doesn't like free stuff right right am i right 
Uh, Kublai will be on the coast. Pedro is here indeed. Neither for choice. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Finland swept the table of the Olympics. Uko Supreme. Yeah, there we go. As Mori also, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. Yeah, Morika won the most medals and tied for most gold. He basically is saying, wait a second. And that sounds contradictory to what Uko Supreme said. What do you mean? Finland swept the table on the Olympics, but then also America got the most medals and tied for the most gold? Shouldn't those be like connected? Whoa. Okay, okay. Well, let's actually see what's uh, going over here on the map. We do have uh, to uh, switch off the screen so we don't actually, uh, we're not going to be bothered by messages over there. Oh, good evening, Project Cisco. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? Oh my God. You. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Coming back from work. Okay, I see. Well, let's um, ask chat. Are we going left or are we going right? Chat, where are we going? Any double loaders in the chat? That's a good question, Project Cisco. We didn't actually have that error today. Uh, Yarchin, also good evening and welcome i guess everybody's tired of them zero england so i don't are they that tired i don't know board onion good evening sir he's saying we're going right we're gonna go right marvin let's actually take a look at marvin we got my shot just putting down on his heel over here on his tutu he does have his warrior moving to the left side and i do see he's gonna have also another friend to the southwest that he's gonna need to split this land up and i do see he's gonna get a scout out in three he does have the fountain of youth to the northeast where there is also pebbleton mapuche is gonna be one of his allies and oh my god they're actually gonna have four is this an east versus west oh my god this is an east versus west <laughs> this is an east versus west how oh, this this oh, okay okay i mean okay let's let's talk about them uh, regardless uh, let's uh, see. The next one would be Mapuche, right? In between the mountains, he does have uh, quite a few of these um, breathtaking tiles to put his Shemamuls on. Zangi Tanks in the north, so he can get some extra uh, merchant and um, general points. And I do notice he's going to get to the southwest, uh, quite, uh, actually, to the in all of his adjacency quite a few settles one two three four five on the coast if he wants to and uh could even go north of that mountain age i will be sure also that we do need to take a look at uh, daido daido being in the northwest is actually gonna have somebody to uh, fight damiumi is gonna be on an island oh my god this this kind of sounds terrible this looks terrible guys this kind of sounds smells like a remap to me man Mm -mm. Yeah, anyway, in Daido will have his uh, two tools around him. I do see a builder opener. He's going to get it in five turns. And I do also notice he's not going to have fresh water other than this river. He does have a series that he could settle on the left, but not very good. This is an, a single tile, by the way, a single 2-2 two -two that he's going to get uh, next to that city center. That's kind of bad if he doesn't manage to get something like out of the sea to improve the production of that city. That's going to be kind of weird. He does have one to the northeast, which is going to be better, but then desert all around this is gonna be uh, quite a challenge for him i mean don't get me wrong pyramids is still good but who wants to actually stay in the desert like that eh now, by the looks of it, we also need to take a look at Catherine de' Medici, which is going to be to the south. He doesn't have, you know, a continent big enough to actually um, encompass any other civilization. While we do have uh, the city of Paris uh, starting to get his scout out in three turns, this is very surprising to me because they should know they're on the same size, like part of the map, no? Yeah, they should know they are on the same part of the map. They should not get that many scouts to be honest like this anyway we do have um, him also benefiting from a few two twos and i do see he's moving his warrior to the west side where you know he's gonna find bologna he does have fresh water series uh, two rivers that i can see one lake to the west side that he can uh, jump on and i'm pretty sure he's gonna be uh, interested in getting his feet wet so he can actually apply some power against his opponents on the other side of the map uh, looking at Wilhelmina, we do have him with uh, this oh my god this is the biggest way the biggest Hue lake over here. Oh my god, just imagine Hue everywhere and then some some of those polders everywhere. Just imagine the gold that is going to be extracted from this. Anyway, Amsterdam is going to get his river to uh, the east side and another one over here. And right next to Mount Rodema also. <laughs> Sugar settle over there. Get the tiles from Mount Rodema. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. 
and also notice he's gonna have these northern settlers that he's gonna need to uh, somehow somehow negotiate with uh, portos uh, to actually settle on them uh, we do have uh, kublai khan no actually i do want to take a look at uh, pedro pedro there we go uh he's gonna be on this inland lake which is not gonna be good for him he has a few cities that he can settle northwest east side at least uh two three maybe if you like clump them up over there but it's gonna be tight it's gonna be really tight really tight this will not allow him to actually work that many tiles and i'm pretty sure the um, god of the sea or uh, goddess of tides would actually be quite valuable for him to get some extra resources ah we got somebody that didn't update their mods there is somebody that did not update their mods today i see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this actually might happen quite a lot unfortunately because uh, this is what happens um, you, um, you, um, unfortunately when we do have like multiple mods uh, starting to run around uh, in the community getting their updates uh, going yeah uh, when they get overrun by uh, minas later on i mean if do, do you think but Miu is gonna have that opportunity that's the question right because he has daido right on his doorstep it's right there daido is right next to him look at ibanka he's right here he his only job would be to actually keep brazil contained right uh, let's see on the other one what do we have here beijing we do have in the southwest of the map looks like a fall art is uh, gonna get the opportunity to settle on the ivory to get another coastal uh, well i this is not a coastal beijing but he could put out a harbor quite easily and uh, start pumping out boats a dead sea also to the southeast not the best wonder in the game but definitely could work in this situation why not you know you get some free era square you get also he also gets some desert to maybe put down a pyramid somewhere and uh well i do see him exploring that uh, eastern side he has quite a bit of fresh water around uh, the city of beijing in the north in the south another problem for him to get this going and uh, i do want to take a look here in korakorum this would be uh genghis khan in, Ch in china right genghis khan yeah uh, I would do have him with a scout out in one and oh whoa wait whoa this is Genghis Khan not China sorry Genghis Khan not China Genghis 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 Mongolia uh, we got him with a scout coming up in 110 Portos is uh, also gonna explore the coast over here unfortunately he doesn't have that much fresh water on the coast other than this river but still that's better than nothing and we got the same player this sinking uh, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna want to work the die style, but I do want to take a look here if he is actually gonna get to work the die style. No, nobody's actually working any bit of faith. You see, actually, there's nobody producing any bit of faith. I'm pretty sure the players are gonna get the option soon to put their cards in, and we're gonna need to see if uh, they do want to remap this or not. Three more turns, and we're good to go. And also, notice um, the players are gonna need to go a little bit out of their way and out of their way to get the fleet going they need to put out uh, cities quite far out into the coast and this is gonna be quite a long game much much longer than i would have expected especially on a tilted axis map usually tilted axis does revolve around controlling these seas and a lot of naval battles this time around mm, doesn't look like it's gonna be that case right yeah uh, because the players will get quite a uh, opportunity to try to go for something like culture try to go for something like diplo while uh, the naval power will be on the second option or i should say on the secondary options your kids hero hello there sir and uh, welcome ave machiavelli also good evening sir this is uh, 5.9 beta yes 590f if i'm not mistaken i think it's 590f um and uh, from what i understand it's gonna go into the final version in just a few days they do want to take out all of the bugs and uh, as uh, you've noticed uh, they did actually update quite a bit right within the fifth version of the beta uh, so they did they needed to take a look what their changes did how it did affect the games is it good is it bad and get some feedback over each of the options and of course see if they can they can change something so they make it better brazil is on an island yeah i'm pretty sure we're gonna have a revamp just just for this just for damiumi over here that's gonna have quite a hard game i mean what is he gonna do just sit on two cities and play he's not gonna get nuked that sounds like a terrible game not gonna lie that sounds like a terrible game Oh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, put the challenge of the day over here on uh, 
Oh, 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 give me a second, give me a second. I see a um, uh, comment over here on YouTube. I think Hungary would be really interesting on Tilted. Imagine showing up with four or five ironclads for the clutch. Yeah, from across the map, you just uh, sues one of these city states like Brussels, who has a few boats over there, upgrade, and then, bam, hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely could be. I don't see the players actually going for Hungary this time around. Would have been nice to actually see it. Also, good evening, Loriano. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Okay, biggest challenge, biggest challenge. Start the poll. Can we get, can we get to... Let's start off with uh, 30. I know, you know, we're back after a week. I know uh, it's going to take a while to get back uh, to our normal engines over here. And we also are not very far away from actually seeing Civ 7. Can you imagine that? Civ 7. Not so long. Not so long until Civ 7. Whoa! Game paused. And I do see uh, this. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Cisco! Cisco! I think we got a little bit of a problem with the overlap over here. They might be in, out of order in the... You know where, you know where. Anyway, uh, it's a Phoenician builder closer to Brazil. Phoenician builder close to Brazil. Let's see. Is, yeah, it is. It is. We do have a Phoenician builder over there, but I don't think he saw him. If he sees loyalty, he definitely saw him, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't because they never met. They never met over here. They didn't have a chance to meet. Is that holy Mapuche? <laughs> that is the Mapuche. I don't know if it's holy. Let's actually see. Is he going for holy side? That is, he's actually starting off with astrology. We got a holy Mapuche over here. <laughs> Why is it with the Titan axis and putting Brazil on small islands? We had the same in CWC. I don't know. It might be a Brazilian thing. It's a Phoenician builder. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Cool whip. Good evening, sir, and welcome. And it looks like both teams chose to remap this. Both teams chose to remap this. So whatever happens next, we can actually, um, I would say, um, talk about the strategics and uh, see if it's going to be again a East versus West. Is it going to be again a East versus West? Okay, we had one remap, one remap, there we go. Yep. Uh, maybe after the remap, maybe we're gonna have a relobby so uh, Sugary actually fixes his mods. Um, hopefully, we're not gonna see that all game long. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to see that all game long. Like, <laughs> you should have bet more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, it wasn't really guaranteed that they're, they're gonna remap uh, both remap. Uh, it was quite surprising that Brazil wanted to remap this, but maybe they did both remap because of the East versus West placement. <laughs> Uh, from what I understand, in the mod, they did, in uh, BBM, they did manage to fix the option for East versus West directly. And oh, there we go. We got Brazil and we do have uh, Persia over here. They should be opponents, right? Brazil is on one side, on uh, Lanima Leri, and then uh, we do have uh, Nader Shah on the right side, on uh, Le Sonat. Okay, okay. So now they're mixed. We got a Dido, a wild Dido in the north. Let's actually see in the south. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I'm stop. I'm stop. I'm sorry. I couldn't actually, you know, abstain myself. I didn't take a look at the response. Where are we going, chat? Are we going left or are we going right? Where are we going? Let me put up uh, YouTube and um, the Twitch at the same time. And by the way, YouTube, if you want to say left or right, you are free to say left or right. I'm watching both chats at the same time. Uh, Lancer on Twitch is saying left. Okay, we go Portos. We got Genghis Khan over here. Let's smell him out. Where is Genghis Khan? Where is Genghis Khan? Uh, bam, 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 bam. We do have Mongolia over here on the right side. It looks like he's going to have his river to settle on. Uh, okay, I mean, at least one city. I'm not sure about the second one here because he doesn't have the distance. He might need to move one tile so he uh, reveals another spot over here or allows himself to settle another spot. He has uh, some rivers in the north, also a lake to settle on. And I do notice he's going to have in the south uh, China. That's going to be his ally over here that he's going to get um, to trade with. We do have also in the north, Netherlands showing up on the coast. That's also going to be one of their uh, allies. And that means somebody's going to be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there are three 
from the same team on the same uh, side we do have uh, portals over here also after the reveal of the yeah there we go there we go so second settle on the gypsum he's getting pantanel tiles over there to work so a 2 2 1 base with a 2 1 2 2 to work that sounds pretty good he's also going to have some coastals here that he could benefit from and i'm pretty sure if uh, push comes to shove he's going to go on the coast and get a navy we do have uh, korakorum settling next to a banana he's getting his 2 2 base and i do notice he moved away from his horses making them more expensive we do have uh, in the third ring over there of uh, korakorum a horse style that's going to be 25 plus 35 gold very expensive <laughs> very expensive we do have also an iron tile here to the southwest in the second ring and yes i do notice um he's uh, gonna need to decide where is he gonna settle over here first uh, we do also need to take a look how um, the other ones are faring let me see let me see jewels so we got kublai khan kublai khan in the south beijing gonna get uh, off the coast by the way he does have a plus two harbor that he could put out and i'm pretty sure he is considering to settle another city to the west side there or he will consider to settle another city there now uh, right on a hut because why not the hutians actually knew their stuff they knew their stuff, man. The tribal village, man. Now we do have uh, the scout coming up in three turns. And yes, I do notice he's going to have this uh, cattle settled to the northeast. Uh, getting that extra food going in his cities is going to be nice. I would imagine he's going to also uh, think about both choices here to maximize the amount of tiles. Now we do have uh, him also benefiting from quite a few uh, floodplains. Although I find it quite unlikely he's going to go for Lady of the Desert Marshes. That might be an option with a Temenanki. Uh, we do have him uh, benefiting from both strategic resources, horses and iron in the northwest. And I do see a nighter tile over there in the fourth ring of the city center, which I'm pretty sure he's going to settle much closer to it later on. Uh, Pedro II is going to be... Oh my god, man. Oh my god, this is like in that meme. This is like in that meme. Pedro II is an intruder on his opponent's team look at him go he's in between nader he has mapuche he has catherine de medici in the south and also daido in the north i mean just send two horses from each and there you have an army <laughs> uh, jacob Lang, uh, good evening sir yeah we went left we did we did uh poor brazil yeah man brazil over here he's not gonna have his uh, work easy tonight we do have a uh, scout coming up in two turns from him he does have his horses next to and i do notice he's gonna have motlatze cannon in the north also maybe he's gonna get to settle and uh, grab a few tiles that's, def that's definitely a possibility if he settles on the banana or the tutu base so he can um, get them closer i think banana would be better right you get access to like three of them while on this one you get access to three of them but this is kind of bad the iron tile we do have him uh, with um, also an item time in the second ring from Rio de Janeiro. I do notice uh, he's um, going to have this nighter in the south, but it's going to be quite uh, further, uh, quite far away. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to benefit from that river, even though that puts him quite close to Pebbleton. And of course, uh, Mapuche is not a city you want to just uh, poke around with, right? There's a, there's a reason sometimes you have like a big sign, don't poke the bear. Like you shouldn't poke the bear. It says for a reason, don't poke the bear <laughs> you know the bear might poke back yeah uh, imposter imposter machiavelli is calling me out yeah let's see let's see and his rainforest is fine and Fornisha is waiting for uh wait to catch a coastal city maybe cue the pedro song Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, just, yes sir uh, pedro settled east the turbo ship building and chopper settled kick w well let's actually see if he's gonna manage to get out of this situation maybe get on i5 jokul uh, side over here in next to hatusa you never know you know you there might there might be some chances of survival for the great nation of brazil in this game now also calco 99 gaming good evening sir and welcome but poking the bear is fun it's fun until he uh, pokes back you know <laughs> i'm just saying now also uh, let me actually take a look on the next one we do have dutch somewhere over here right amsterdam is gonna get his uh rivers yeah he does have one two three four rivers to benefit from a lake in the north um, unfortunately it's not that big Hue lake anymore we do have uh, like three tiles next one it's it's still gonna be good it's still gonna be good uh, another thing that i do like he can settle where his scout is and he can get another settle over here actually allowing his uh, triple cities to get that production working for his boats and getting them out over there 
We do have uh, quite a bit of territory also for him to settle on the coast and on the northern territory, which I'm pretty sure he's going to be fond of because he will want to be a big empire in this game. Uh, we do see also he's going to benefit from horses in the first ring in, of Amsterdam. He is already benefiting from a banana tile and of course he grew into the fish. Uh, we don't see a builder yet to see those tiles improved. His iron is going to be second ring to the south of Amsterdam and I do notice a clear lack of nitre. Is it just me or he doesn't have nitre anywhere? His nitre is on an island. No. His nitre is going to be on an island. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, that's what bears are for poking. I mean, maybe gummy bears are for poking. Just say, man, you can poke all day long a gummy bear. You shouldn't do that for a big one. You know? Yeah. Hey, by the way, did you see that there was no more desync? How did that happen? Wait, a remap fixed desyncs? Yeah, me like it. Me like it. Let's talk about sugar because we were on that subject anyway. Paris is going to get his settler out in three times. And I do notice he's also going to have to the southeast to go and settle a city on the coast, on the river. He's also going to have quite a few inlands if he wants to. Shouldn't be a problem to create trade routes with Mapuche over here on land. He doesn't really have an easy choice to go on the seas. Uh, we do have uh, also him benefiting from horses secondary iron there. And I do notice a uh, possible Temenaki city on the west side. Actually, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes wouldn't be that bad in this situation he has a little what like what 10 tiles more than 10 tiles maybe 12 tiles 13 tiles of uh, floodplains here that he's gonna get extra production for we do have a nitre tile also on the west side the mountains are gonna give him some plus trees here and there and uh, well we're gonna need to see if he's gonna get to benefit from those um extra culture points from his uh, unique improvement chateaus chateaus would be the unique improvement uh, looking at the banca, he's going to be the northernmost part of the map. He is actually uh, going to have the possibility of uh, moving his units from the left to the right of uh, this ocean. And of course, uh, that would allow him to actually build the production capabilities on the left side of the Caspian Sea and also on the right side in the Antarctic Ocean. We do have the banca camp also benefiting from a banana for extra food. He did improve his fish style quite uh, quickly and did not go for a scout. Oh, look at that builder go, giving him that nice, nice way. Did they just buy him a settler? They bought him a settler, right? They actually bought him a settler. Uh, uh, Animalry, Blunder, the Rima buff? Okay. Uh, Dutch will probably settle the island anyway. Probably they should have uh, said no because uh, Lusanat can possibly know Brazil was in a bad spot. Yes, they didn't know. They didn't know. Um, let's buy a settler. Well, by the looks of it, he's, uh, he did it. He did it and we do have a war going on because I'm pretty sure Brazil got discovered and he is trying, Damimu is trying to go for the banana settle over there on the 3-1 and yes, we do see he already met Phoenicia and Persia. Another settler is coming out in five turns here. Uh, Ibanka is going to need to start moving soon. He does have a plus four campus uh, next to those reef tiles. Uh, although, no, I don't think he actually did discover animal husbandry. Let's be real. He went for harbors first, right? So no animal husbandry opener. Uh, we do uh, see he's going to have some spice tiles to settle in the north, unfortunately. Oh, that's the only one tile he can go for. A bit surprising that he's going south over here, actually. Instead of uh, going uh, east or northwest, I do see better tiles on the right side. And we do have over here, right? He's gonna need to buy out quite a few of them if he actually wants to benefit from. actually no if he goes to one that should be fine if he goes here that should be fine he's gonna have at least two two twos he's gonna grow into the sheep by the third pop it should be fine okay well another setter is coming up in one turn he's probably gonna go for four cities quickly here and I do see his uh, horse tile second ring, also iron second ring, nitre tile. He does have it on this uh, little peninsula here to the west side of his capital. Looking next, we do have uh, Lotaro uh, to the southwest of Brazil, which, by the way, did discover him also. So it looks like we do have the quick invasion of the Brazilians. Quite a few scouts are going in, warriors are going in. And I do see uh, that's happening from Phoenicia, from Persia, from Mapuche. Maybe even uh, Catherine de Medici would want to jump in over there. Because why not? You know, it is what it is. Now we do have uh, also Ngulumapu with uh, some cocotiles next to him. And uh, I do notice... 
he's going to settle the grand mesa which is gonna give him a bit of gold and a bit of actually no not gold sorry a bit of culture not gold and a bit of food if i'm not mistaken and we do have him also um, uh, with the possibility to settle on the um, grassland marsh town if he wants to just to grab the three one and two one and then settle another city later on there uh, looking at his appeal i do see he is gonna have a bit of a problem with appeal no easy schema moves for him to go through and uh, to go to and of course we're gonna need to see him try to make it better although i'm pretty sure he's gonna chop most of the rainforest here we do need to see how things are gonna evolve appeal wise you know, we do have him benefiting from a horse in the second ring uh, i do see iron in the first ring and uh, i do also notice a knight that is gonna be four rings out from engulu mapu <laughs> i'm pretty sure he's gonna get a closer city there i don't see any other knighter tile which is uh, yeah a bit unfortunate oh never mind okay so he is settling on grand mesa directly okay uh well one more left let's see nader Shah. actually he did put out his second city in Bactri on the left side that should be on a marble tile uh, getting that extra culture underneath we do have a monument in 14 turns and yes i do see a center another one is coming out from a shot next turn uh he does have reverse that he could uh keep on settling towards brazil and of course getting another center on the other side of the lake over here would also be quite nice now uh, it doesn't seem like any of these like phoenician settlers or persian settlers are gonna go and settle the Motrace Canyon which is filled by the way of uh, fresh water next to it I'm pretty sure Brazil is gonna grab those tiles uh, quickly here benefiting from free faith and free culture from the beginning that's that's gonna be nice that's gonna be nice not a you know um where brazil escapes settler i mean he's going to ship building and i'm pretty sure he's gonna he's already thinking about it i'm pretty sure but this is i mean this is perfect time man to actually go uh in, in campus into encampments triple encampments go magnus first go uh, warlord's throne go and try to bonk as many units as possible right this is the moment how does uh, your escape settlement set? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Fritzy Mongolia won't see Minas today. Doesn't look like it, sir. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. Eric Coffin, good evening, sir, and uh, welcome. <laughs> Ruro? R Ruro? What is Ruro? Anyway, yeah, coming back on Nader Shah, he does have horses in the second ring, and I do notice he is starting to move on the stone tile with his third settler. He does have an iron tile also in the second ring, while I do see Niter is going to be very close to his third city over here towards Motlatse. Well, they did buy out those tiles, uh, the banana tiles over there, the 3 2 2 2, two, uh, two over here, <laughs> the faith, the food, the production, and the culture, giving that uh, Porto Alegre city a bit of a boost. We do have uh, also a slinger coming up in five, and yes, I do notice already brazil is in trouble we got the persians coming in not taking any prisoners it looks like the brazilian cat scout is actually going back into the rainforest trying to get away from the persian cat oh my god that persian cat looks like it's gonna be quite strong we do have uh, the slinger in trouble if he doesn't move away that uh, persian warrior might actually take him out it does have enough strength and no it did survive but then the scout actually trades his life for the slinger Brazil here did get his third city going. Uh, Rio de Janeiro is uh, pumping out another slinger, and I don't think he actually has a Gogi to put in and uh, actually benefit from, right? No, he does have survey, and of course, he did open up with foreign trade, so he already has maritime industries. Unfortunately, no, a Gogi is going to get it. Everybody's going right now for the early empire except of Pebbleton, which is going to open up craftsmanship. This is kind of weird. We do have him uh, going for his settler in. Um, one turn his third one and i do also notice uh Puel Mapu did get settled over there for a three to one base it does have also a two three one one ivory tile to make use of and going for a builder there to improve some more tiles i'm pretty sure they're already thinking of uh, how many ponies they need to train so they can actually take out the brazilians um also brazil gotta send his second center to that marsh southeast marsh southeast marsh southeast south East. here Luxury here has okay the round table. yeah i mean he's sending it he is sending it uh laksan b thank you so much for the follow sir and welcome uh, did scooby not make it to romania scooby-doo i don't know <laughs> uh, yes of course we did have scooby-doo if you're asking about the, the cartoons yes of course we did have scooby-doo Is there a question about Scooby-Doo? I need to know or did I not see something? Hmm? Oh, 
Oh, oh, Ruro is Scooby Doo. Oh, I mean, it, yeah, it didn't click. It did not click. It did not click. I'm sorry. Also, <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's see what's happening with the sim on the right side. We got the campus opener here for uh, Fankus and taking a look at this. So they're not that far away from getting that early empire. So we can see what the kind of um, governors did, will they go for. I do see his campuses are going to be a plus two over here and another plus uh, two over here next to Amsterdam's river. While, uh, of course, he could try to put the uh, government plaza in between to beef up that uh, adjacency. He does have one settler going for that... Uh, river i'm actually curious he's probably gonna go uranium right he kind of needs to go uranium there because why not he's gonna be uh, closer to the banana anyway anyway uh, he does have also a bit of desert to the southeast where he could try to put a petra city he does have a few chops that he could make this much much faster to get a petra Looking at uh, Mongolia, he did actually buy out that three-ring tile. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buying out a three-ring horse over here. Four portos. They have so much gold on their side. We got monuments coming in. I do see trade routes are coming in. He did set a room key on that 2 to one ivory tile and benefiting from Pantanal uh, for in that uh, extra culture and uh, extra science. I do see he didn't actually go for iron yet and I'm pretty sure nobody's going to want to get uh, encampments. Well, except Pedro the second, he's probably gonna want in gamut. Now, actually, it's a bit of a surprise he's going horseback riding directly instead of uh, finishing up these campuses and then going for guess what? Uh, in camels over here to get a general. I'm pretty sure Persia with a plus five against uh, full strength units and also a general bonus on him against Brazil might be a bit too tough to handle. We did have in the north actually Phoenicia managing to win the fight against the unit of Brazil and now he's moving in with his warrior. Okay, half HP, he's fine. He's kind of banged up over there. You see, he has a few bruises on his body, but it's fine. Fine. He's going to actually challenge the city of Porto Alegre. I do have uh, Brazil managing to get his horses up and I do notice uh, he keeps his scouts uh, over here to the west side. Rio de Janeiro going for another archer so he can actually do some damage. And in the south I do see Mapuche is opening up with campuses also. Another city will probably go uh, okay in the north of Angulo Mapu. You know, I was uh, taking a look if he's gonna settle Coco or next to Coco. Looks like he's next to Coco. Uh, he's gonna go on the one tree, gonna grab that two to a stone tile and of course we we'll need to actually grab uh, a lot more other tile. Oh my god. Uh, no this is such a weird city so he only has like one hill two hills and that's it two hills in the two rings in two rings mm. i mean sure he's gonna get a coco tile improved that's gonna be a third um a third tile to use and then sure you can use the five food rice tile but where production where production uh, okay well i guess uh, it is what it is and we do have uh, three campus opener here from uh, from Mapuche. Uh, looking at Sugary, he did get uh, Toulouse to the southwest. I do see uh, Paris already put down his own campus here. And yes, we do have monuments uh, starting to finish in both uh, cities. Uh, he's going to get a third city towards that uh, Coco Tile at the end of the river, which is uh, going to have actually quite a few Toulouse around it and access to a Coco Tile. Uh, he did not settle coastal yet. And of course, only Toulouse at the moment actually has the possibility to put a uh, harbor out. Looking at what's going on here, it looks like uh, the Persian warriors uh, and the Persian and the Phoenician warrior <laughs> are going are getting into the tiles of Brazil, uh, Brazil city of Porto Alegre. While um, the Miu Miu is happy just training up archers in the meantime, we do have him uh, actually getting another one here from Porto Alegre next turn. While he just popped one from Rio de Janeiro and started moving towards uh, building his campus. On the right side, looks like uh, Axel settled quite far away from Korakorum. That is a far away city, sir. Now, Mongolia going right in the face of Netherlands. While Netherlands is starting to get his galleys out, he wants to sail the seas and, of course, discover what kind of marvels, what kind of uh, hidden treasures uh, did everybody put on these islands, especially the Niter. That kind of seems like a hidden treasure to me, you know? Now, how is the continent situation looking like? Nitro asking us a good question. We got one continent on the right side. A green continent in the middle west will be split into two continents between green uh sorry red and uh, purple okay 
So basically, they do have two continents on each. If, if of course, uh, you take into account Brazil is going to be on another continent than his own team. Uh, actually, I do see a new Pantheon starting to uh, be picked. The City Patreon Goddess on Brazil. He's going to get the 40% production towards the first campus. And you can immediately see uh, how it did affect this uh, production. It was three turns for a campus. Now it went down to two turns, only two turns to build it. Yeah, we do uh, also need to see what kind of change, change uh, choices they're gonna make when it comes to the governor since we yes the early empire is finishing here we do have the players needing to actually make their choices uh i don't see governors here no governors here no pantheons either actually uh-huh players not going as fast as you might think for the for those uh, 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 one has joined the round table uh lan one or wait is that lanny hello there sir and good evening thank you so much for the follow uh, also holy side holland yes we do have a holy side holland over here tilburg actually did put out the holy side he did not go with the that settle on the um, on the hill on the desert hill that was uh i mean i guess it was an extra turnover there but quite surprising uh we do have um him finishing up his campuses and of course uh, starting to get quite a bit of food extra in Amsterdam but he doesn't have the housing for his seventh pop yet um we do have the two boats going around she building boost unfortunately for him he doesn't have an easy set, uh, city state to take unless you mm, go for Granada here to the northwest well that could be another city and that is good by the way he's gonna get the green continent amenities working for him right at least a diamond tile that's gonna be available from Granada uh, does he have another easy resource to get to uh, amber i see amber and sugar so he could get a city around here somewhere and benefit from like three amenities not bad not bad not bad if i might say so myself has some jade on this um western city even though i think actually he has jade somewhere around here i don't see it so no i don't think he has actually has jade i'm sorry uh let's see uh, we do have more archers coming in brazil is having a bit of a scout problem over here too many cats roaming on his uh, districts another archer also from porto alegre and i do notice phoenicia and also persia have started running away from the arrows it looks like they hurt uh, we do have also him buying out getting that uh, tile to the west side with uh, the extra culture he's getting in porto alegre already third pop and of course uh, we do we might actually see him also buy out the iron tile there is the possibility for uh, Shari Kumis to get another city here, even though he might actually give it to Phoenicia. We got God of the Sea also chosen for Phoenicia's um, ability, Pantheon. We do have the extra production showing up on each of these um, coastal resources. Amber tile, we got fish tiles over here, and also crab tiles. Uh, I do see Cothons also coming around. He's going to get Moksha opener in, Ibang in the capital, in Ibanka cap. Uh, I do have to point out, Moksha did get quite an important buff, and I did read it out um, earlier. I do want to show you what it means. We do have Kanesur over here getting the culture just as it was before for the population in the city. But then, Divine architect is showing up as the second bonus on the left tree it's gonna give him domestic trade routes to mosha city provides plus two culture plus one food allows the city to purchase uh, districts with faith at the 10 percent discount it might not look that much but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be strong the extra culture here is gonna be amazing getting them uh, so quickly towards uh, feudalism um we do have also Mapuche going for Goddess of Festivals. He already has quite a few cover tiles uh, around him. And of course, getting them improved with plantations will give him that extra culture on them. This is going to be, again, very important. He did put down the first Shema Mall here next to Puel Mapu. That's going to give him a five culture points. Five culture points. Shema Mall, two, two, five that's amazing that is just amazing radioactive holy side holland mm -mm. yeah yeah what about the cs he found chingueti granada can be an escape city for brazil actually yeah it could be if he gets a boat out but unfortunately he didn't put a single signal on the coast i don't know why but he did not jump into the water yeah that's gonna be a hard one let's see more pantheons yes another one god of the force chosen by persia we do have a pingala opener in his capital while he's going to get quite a few builders remember persia does uh, neither shy in particular does get science on his trade routes which is a bit surprising he's going for pingala right here instead of moksha uh, so he can get the culture alongside with the science also right uh, we do have on the right side also oh religious settlements chosen by jules art looks like we might have a wide empire moksha opener in the city of beijing we got arena here on Porto 
Santos and by the looks of it we do have um, another city from Mongolia being sent towards the north wait a second is he going for the gold so fast okay okay well they, another arena opener on Harlem and I gotta say zero Magnus zero Magnus this game zero there's nobody nobody picking up Magnus really man Moksha everywhere we got arena everywhere okay well let's see actually how much i will evolve i'm pretty sure they're gonna use the internal trade routes for quite a bit of uh, time in the game uh, we do have another holy site being placed down from tushpa and i do see harbor opener from uh, persia over here from nader shah now we got the first horses also coming out from the Miu Miu. wait a second if you open up harbors what is he on the horseback riding he's getting archery in two turns Okay, well, at least he has a bit of luck, right? Persia over here is going to have a bit of luck because he really is not that close to his opponent. Let's see, how, how fast can these horses actually get to his opponent? One, two, three, well, three, uh, four, five, six, and seven to actually hit Tushpa. Hmm. That's actually not that bad. Although I do believe uh, Marvin should actually get... Wait, where is he? How much does he have? Nine science and nine culture? Okay, so he's going to have archery in two and probably another, like, what? Seven turns for horseback riding or six turns for horseback riding? That's not that uh, far away. He's going to need to chop a few horses here to actually make uh, make it work. Marvin would also need to discover maneuver, the card maneuver, uh, so he can actually get um, the production towards those horses going. Also, old triangle. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Such a beautiful Shema Moon. Yes, that is amazing. The five culture, man, it's amazing. Uh, Dino will dominate the seas. That's why they bought a settler. I gotta point out, uh, he's gonna need to fight out Netherlands here. And we do need to see how many cities and, of course, uh, how quickly Netherlands will figure out about um, Dido. Where is he and how he needs to deal with him. Uh, we do have also in the city-state screen, since we're turned 26, we can actually take a look at uh, how things are evolving here and uh, take a look at the city-states. Ooh, horse already going out uh, to the left side from Brazil. Antranarivo and Kumasi are going to be the culture city-states and uh, Vilnius will be the culture city-states of the game. We do have Bologna and Hatusa for the science. I do notice uh, Cardiff will be the only one for industry a uh, can with granada will be providing some military power well extra production towards units is always nice and we do have uh, venice with samarkand providing some extra gold for them la venta and vatican city for the face generation okay okay why not there's quite a bit of an array of uh, uh, city states there and netherlands is gonna choose a uh, divine spark for his pantheon and he's sending those uh, galleys towards the northwest over there trying to actually see where they can go he has another one moving to the west side discovering all of these seas here uh, going for a fourth city soon from Amsterdam. He does need three more turns to get it out. A commercial opening from Portos. Also external trade route being sent towards the uh, Netherlands. Um, he will get some extra culture from that. Uh, we do have him also starting to improve his uh, resources here. His amenities, what I do notice, he's also going to get a campus research project in Beijing. That means uh, I do see uh, Kublai over here trying to get Hypatia. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Hypatia race over here on the right side now let's see we got more campuses coming out from brazil his first horse is actually getting to cross the river soon it's gonna be a question if he's gonna try to go for shari kumis or for another city like tushma uh, let's actually take a look at his vision and uh, see if he oh he doesn't know about the other city to the southwest of shari kumis so his only target right now viable target of because of his information uh, is gonna be shari kumis okay well there are some archers also moving there and i do notice they have spots that they could actually shoot down that persian warrior not actually attack him to the slinger until he gets around anyway and we do need to see how quickly oh it's faster than i thought marvin is gonna get horseback riding in three turns okay military tradition also coming up in two and i do notice god of the forge on uh, persia is gonna allow him to actually get quite a few of these units out and we do need to see also well uh what's he's gonna follow up after pingala that's a lot of science here that's gonna be a lot of sign 15 and 12 is did not open with a single uh, com uh how to say a single campus he went full harbor with uh, one single holy site okay 
we do have Mapuche going for internals, Moksha internals, and yes, I do notice he started to get a few builders not only to improve his tiles but also to chop a few tiles, finishing up his campuses, makes him uh, get some extra science, not to mention uh, get those points for the scientist. I do see Isodor of Miletus is also going to be available for the first engineer while nobody's going for generals. This is a bit surprising, but I guess we'll see who's going to put down the first in camel and how are they actually going to use it. We got uh, two tests for the Gafferon Plaza here from Rio de Janeiro while Moksha is establishing in that capital the Miu Miu the Miu Miu let's actually see 16 signs with 10 culture it's showing up for Pedro II. Uh, in the era score, they should be fine to actually... Yeah, they did meet each other's team. So they met basically every one of them when they declared war. And uh, that gave him yeah, that gave them quite a bit of era score. We do have the idol units starting to go around the coast and see what they can bonk against. Maybe take a city state or two. Why not? Uh, we do have him quite far away. This is a lot of distance actually for him to uh, cover towards the cities of uh, Netherlands. And I'm pretty sure galleys or Byrims are not going to be a viable option and we're going to need to wait for caravels frigates uh, ironclads and so on uh, for that to be available uh, it looks like next turn there might be the first uh, horse uh, maneuver here <laughs> marvin might get his warrior hit and of course he's um, gonna need to move it into the city oh oh maybe <gasps> that what is gonna die it it might not die actually because he's gonna get uh, 15 heal mm. is he gonna die it might die 15 heal mm -mm. no i don't think it dies i don't think it dies even with the archer i don't think it dies anyway yeah next turn marvin is gonna get his horse back riding he already has a builder able to chop the question is will he keep that chop for next turn uh he does have uh, to put in the card he needs maneuvering there we go he would just see him uh, plugging that in and of course more horses from brazil are starting to cross the river uh while uh, he's moving up his archer line to the river now we do have porto alegre also getting another horse and i do see rio will finish that cover on plaza next turn uh in the south mapuche is starting to get a few horses of his own this will create more problems from the Miu Miu having to deal with both armies from Mapuche and from his opponent is going to be a problem especially since Mapuche is going to get an extra plus five against Brazil quite soon right we got two more times and bam that uh, golden age is kicking in plus five on Mapuche imagine that imagine that how how does this work the how does this why does he get plus five against uh, Brazil or is this one of those subjects we shouldn't talk about I don't know. Uh, how do you think this goes? How do you think this Mapuche bonus goes against Brazil? Plus five against civilizations in a golden age. Why would people get more against that? What kind of, you know, behavior would that be? If he finds Tushpa, the city is dead. Yeah. Kick. That city, that city would have been dead. Yes, I agree. This city would have been dead. This city can survive. I'm pretty sure it can. So Why did he move up the archer? Kick W, man. Never mind that. It looks like the warrior at least is gonna die, but the horse is gonna pop up from Shari Kumis immediately next turn. Marvin is, Marvin is just gonna. Yeah, there we go. Oh, city got hit. Horse got bought. Wait, why did he buy a horse? What? That Marvin. I think Marvin got a little bit excited here. Or I should say, most. Um, how to say? Uh. how do you call it distracted emotional something anyway um but I always that the arena city with a level one promotion i think so uh, i think on the right side yes i'm pretty sure actually uh let's see reina reina is here in harlem we got reina in Korakorum also let's see the gold we got 22 gold on marvin 13 on pebble tony on 18 sugar is only gonna be on three portos is already 29 gold a turn and Fancus is on 11 both of them are actually sending external traders to each other magnus woo, woo, woo. we got magnus showing up in the city of amsterdam here in the capital city of the dutch we got Fancus here trying to make use of that uh, new magnus bonus in the south at the moment we don't have a second um 
this uh, second um, ba -ba 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 governor and i do notice uh, beijing is gonna get uh, his galleys out he's starting to put down uh, these cities on the coast i'm pretty sure he cannot he cannot afford to actually not put these cities on the coast uh, governor plaza is also gonna beef up two of his uh, campuses here being placed uh, especially for that extra adjacency and the fourth city is coming out from guangzhou quite quickly uh, let's see uh, left side what's happening here we got um, units of mapuche starting to uh, do some damage to to Brazilian units. I do see uh, Brazil is getting positioned to try to hit Sharikumis uh, one more time. Uh, and of course, he's moving up his archer line uh, so he can do more damage from afar. Now, while I do notice this horse, unfortunately, will not have enough damage to attack into the city center while Persia has a horse inside defending that city center. With um, gathered forces, quite a bit of extra production toward these uh, ancient and classical units from Persia. And uh, I do see him not actually being bought at all about the, Bra the Brazilian invading him. Um, uh, the Mew Mew is gonna actually go around the city of Sharikumis with a horse and might actually grab uh, the government plaza tile here of uh, Persia. That will be a good, a good bonus. Okay, more horses coming around. Horses to the southwest. We do have uh, so many horses also from Mapuche. And I gotta say, Pebbleton here is trying to use um, the forest to hide the movement of his troops until it's gonna be too late. Brazil might feel the sting of Mapuche. Um, nobody needs a general. Nobody needs a general. Yes, this is quite surprising. This is quite surprising. We do have uh, the Kafir Plaza of Engulumapu also coming out next turn. It did get placed, so it does beef up one of his uh, campuses. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be talking about a commercial or maybe maybe an, uh, sorry, an industrial over here. Uh, we'll see how he's actually going to get those um, aqueducts going. Did he just buy out the one, two tile? Oh man, yeah, he has problems with the hills, right? He actually needs to buy out a one two so he gets access to these other two twos over here in the third ring. Um, alternatively, he could have gone for two one and these two. But anyway, this is extremely expensive. All of these tiles from Mapuche, from the city of Nagmapu, are third ring from now on. Okay, looks like uh, Brazil is in trouble. He cannot get through the defenses of Shani Kumis. Uh, we do have a city takeover. Looks like uh, we did indeed have uh, Granada being taken out by Netherlands boats. Uh, also, seems like um, seems killing of Brazil was delegated to Mapuche. Too bad Persia was attacked before. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems so. Seems so. Well, Portos is gonna get his Pembrush and Boys Golden Age on uh, Genghis Khan. 12 science and 18 culture on four cities. Genghis. He's getting those traders going. 55 gold per turn. 40 production. We do have uh, also uh, Jews for Alt in. In, uh, China, Kublai Khan China, four cities of his own. He did manage to recruit the first scientist, and I do see again Hypatia is not revealed. We do have uh, the scientist just waiting on that um, campus spot for better bonuses. He does have religious settlements, giving him more production towards settlers, and I do see he's going for audience chamber. I gotta say, I gotta say, chat, I don't think we're gonna see that much Ancestral Hall these games. I, I don't think in this version Ancestral Hall is actually gonna be picked. What is everybody's opinion of this? Do we have any anybody that is thinking differently about Ancestral Hall? Like, it, it seems like everything is for audience chamber this time around. Uh, in this position, both Babylon and Persia are forced to fight Brazil, but they can make it so one side focuses on early fighting and another one mostly defense and sims for the kill. Yeah, Captain Obvious strikes again! <laughs> wow! Yeah, headshot 360, no scope. The Beasley, it is what it is, sir. Now we do have um, to take a look here next. Pedro II, 12, 15 science and 23 culture. We got him on 37 points of production. He's actually getting quite a bit of an army here to Fort Persia. And it looks like he did not want to actually go for the government plots. Oh my god, I see Ancestor Hall is not happening and we got Ancestor Hall happening. Oh, this is beautiful. I gotta say, beautiful, man. Now, uh, let's actually see. Damiumi, he's showing up right behind the archer line. It looks like, um, he's, no, Pe no, sorry, Pebbleton is showing up right behind the archer line of Damiumi. It looks like we're gonna have Brazil in a heap of trouble. His units are getting smashed. We do have some spearmen also coming around here. Damiumi is gonna try to get an encampment from Curitiba, where he is plugging in Magnus for the chops. I'm pretty sure this is for the chops not the internals we do have him with the government plaza 
next to Rio de Janeiro and uh, he also did not yet improve his iron tile here uh, I do see Fankus 15 science and 21 culture still on three cities Netherlands he's getting he's done several hole again wow 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 okay I mean these guys don't really like the 10 pop uh, we do have niche vision it's being settled on the lake to the north and I do see uh, uh, he's actually oh there we go uh, the, oh sorry you know he, he actually uh, played with our hearts here he chose ancestral hall just so we can actually see it and then chopped audience chamber right before our eyes we do have moksha also in the city of tilburg uh, establishing in two turns and i do see he's getting a few builders here to start improving all of these tiles he did put down uh, whoa 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 cat athena don't do that uh, the cat is grabbing my uh, chair and trying to make me pay attention cat athena she wants to have fun right she wants play time right now she wants play time right now no no play time right now no play time right now uh, okay let's uh, let's go uh sugary penbrush and voice golden age on uh, catherine de medici in the south four city strong he's getting his monuments getting his audience chamber going and uh, getting some harbors out in the seas i do notice he's also gonna get some galleys and of course he is gonna need to sail on these seas in these oceans to see what's going on wall is thrown also on uh, mapuche we do have him actually getting it in three turns over here and i do see he's uh, gonna follow up his opener from uh, campus into gavron plaza into encampments with two of them coming out from Puelmapu and Nagmapu establishing Pingala in that city of the north is going to give him quite a bit of science from his population that is at the moment for Pop it's pretty good anyway uh, Moksha hitting Gulumapu and I gotta say it would be nice to actually have uh, Magnus, Moksha and then uh, Pingala in the north but anyway it is what it is his units are starting to take down quite a few of the Brazilians uh, health and of course we do have Namiumi who needed to make a choice where is he gonna go next I do see he's uh, moving out um, of the borders of Shari Kumis and he does have a choice to go towards the left towards Persia or try try somehow to survive over here in the forest next to the uranium and the wine tile I mean you know who doesn't want a little bit of uh, wine next to his uh, uranium no no anyway I do uh, see Ibanka is also going to have 11 science and 32 culture in the north. Still on four cities and not even Dairo is going for uh, Ancestral Hall, I gotta say. He's going on the chamber here. He wants those tall cities. Uh, we do have uh, multiple builders coming around. He's uh, going to start making his settlers. And of course, we're going to see where, how is he going to populate all of this uh, territory here. Has a few islands to the west side that he could benefit from. And of course, one big island on the right side to benefit from. Uh, looking at the moves, we do have uh, Brazil managing to figure out he does have a city state uh, city to bonk against uh, Tushpa and not to mention uh, even try to get some traders here away from Persia uh, I do see uh, Marvin is also going to get 26 science with 22 culture. He does have uh, more traders coming out of his cities, Tushpa and Shari Kumis, while his ancestral hall is going to finish in two turns. It's a bit surprising, no audience or uh, world of strength here. Anyway, um, uh, he did manage to defend uh, the attack, the initial attack of Brazil, and we're going to need to see if uh, Mapuche is going to manage to win the day over here against the units of Brazil right next to him. With 27 points of gold, he should be fine uh, giving his teammates what he they need when it comes down to the gold per turn he did open up uh, harbors uh, followed up with a government plaza and now following up with uh, campuses in the majority of his cities uh, plus uh, three over here next to sherry kumis he does have another plus two here in back three and i do notice he did put down a holy site in the city of tushpa a bit surprising but you know who am i to judge he's getting a holy site does anybody know why he why he's getting a holy site on persia of all civs on persia Rosemary Clooney sweeps from beyond for the eventual fate of Brazil. Yeah, now Brazil kind of needs Levy and CS skill to escape here. No other way that blocks the seas and he's stuck on a continent with four opponents. Yeah, he definitely needs uh, something here. Uh, the question is what? It looks like also China is going to manage to make quick work of Samarkand, which is just working on a trader, but it, you know, be knows to him, there are quite a few units uh, coming out from the seas and from the lands. Now, uh, it looks like Vilnius is not going to be taken. Cardiff, no. Kumasi cannot. I mean, Cardiff can, but Kumasi cannot. Uh, Vanega City also can be used, but it doesn't have any galleys. Uh-oh. So only Cardiff has galleys? I, I do see a galley. At least a galley, right? At least a galley. 
Okay, looks like uh, Brazil is uh, not going to manage to get that trader. The Marvinian trader is uh, back in the city of Marshad and the horses are starting to move around here. We do have um, more settlers also starting to pop out from the Persian cities. I do see Sharikumis and Bakri are going to get them four turns and five turns. In the south, Pebbleton is the first one to uh, start to get his... Um, encampments go and finishing up and also getting the encampment trading projects uh warlord's throne is gonna finish next turn while i do see mapuche on three great uh, general points of time do you guys see that behind me yeah that's uh speedy gonzalez athena i gotta say after um the last week when we took out um the bars the external bars um that were helping her actually heal the leg and keep uh, the leg in place Two days, three days, three days, she's been quite quiet. Like, you know, she's been healing, sitting down and so on. In the fourth day, she was like, Whoa, I don't have that anymore. She's running everywhere. She's everywhere. Athena, Athena. No, she's so, she's so focused on the ball right now. Uh, he can levy Cardiff, kill Samarkand with levy Gallis. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, you said Samarkand with Lev uh, Well, Cardiff, Gallis over here. Samarkand very far away, right? Over here to the west side. Very far away. I think it would be much easier to actually have a few boats from China. Help him uh, take Vatican City. Uh, although it kind of looks like uh, they might not meet Cardiff. They might not know about Cardiff, which is going to be the biggest problem, right? They know. They know. They need to take Cardiff. Oh my god, they actually know about this. Um, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, they really should have buffed the Brazil island spawn better. <laughs> yeah, they should have kept the island spawn, man. Uh, two cities Brazil would have been the same as this. Uh, actually, much better than this, right? In this situation, he has, it is a very strong possibility that Brazil will die. In that, he probably would have lived over there. Not extremely relevant, but he would have lived. Uh, like, his first should have benefited them. Yeah. Okay, in camera training projects also coming up from Damiumi, he's uh, desperately trying to get a general, he should get one next turn, while Mapuche is also gonna manage to finish to get one. Oh, I do see uh, Brazil did manage to actually recruit this, and uh, Netherlands did manage to recruit Hypatia for the extra science on the libraries, and a free library of his own. Some more spearmen are coming around from Brazil, he's gonna need to go as quickly as possible towards military tactics, so he puts out his um, uh, pikemen. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge for Mapuche to get through, I'm pretty sure his uh, Malon readers are not gonna do as much damage to the pikemen as he would like to, uh, but actually if you do manage to couple them with some uh, crossbows, that might work, that might, that should work actually. We got Magnus in Puel Mapu, I do see uh, in camera training project is gonna finish next turn, actually we got two more in camera training projects finished finishing up in one and two turns now uh, brazil is uh, still moving around might actually get the opportunity to pillage the peri desal or the campus let's actually see next turn if he does manage to cross the river and of course the persian scout does not uh, get there first yeah he might get there first wait what happened with the sestra hall didn't he finish this earlier oh he moved away to actually build a warrior or something okay i see Okay, well, let's actually see the stats in the production. I'm very interested in the production here. So, Fankus on 53, we got Marvin on 52. Both of them are actually on, uh, no, actually one is on four series, the other one is on five. And uh, we do have Ancestral Hall versus Audience Chamber. Let's actually see Netherlands here getting his uh, fifth city to the North Nishman Gen. Gonna pop out some builders. I'm pretty sure we're coming out soon, but not quick enough on the feudalism timing. You do see uh, Marvin is two turns away from feudalism, while on the other side, Fankus is going for recorded history that means he actually wait that means he actually did pop out let's see in two turns when he's gonna get that builder did he actually get fiddle whoa 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 no he didn't no he didn't he didn't whoa he's not going feudalism over here okay well i guess he does want the extra science coming up from his um uh, from his campuses that might be uh, punishing to his sim later on now well i guess uh, he made his choice we do have mongolia also getting his uh, markets out uh, more harbors also coming around from mongolia finishing up a sister hall i have no idea why he's getting a sister hall in this place because to be honest audience chamber or wall of throne have done the same um oh, oh sorry um, wall of throne or a sister hall would have done the same over here it's not like he has 20 cities to settle 
And we do have also in the south China managing to get his uh, harbors out and a few more builders. So we do have him also finishing up pyramids in the city of Chengdu next time. Uh, he did manage to get Magnus in there and will have uh, quite a few chops. He will also get Samarkand. That's going to make him put him at uh, six cities. And of course, soon he's going to get the seventh one coming out from Beijing. He does need a few more traders to um, connect his empire and of course uh, make it much more easier for troop movements. Uh, not only troop movements, builders, you, uh, settlers and so on. Uh, Pingana also going here. Ogothi, hello there, sir, and good evening. Oh my god, how are you doing? Uh, missed the beginning, but glad I could catch the action. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, on the left side, we got uh, over here Brazil in a bit of a tough spot, right? He has uh, two nations to go against, three nations to go against. Uh, from the south, Mapuche showing up with multiple generals. Uh, Bra uh, and also on the west side, Persia is going to get his uh, horses out. Also, I do have to point out the didn't really uh, like Persia didn't really go overboard with his unit production he's more concerned about his sim rather than his unit production and we do have also Vigdan establishing Porto Alegre where another encampment is going to finish Wallostron is going to be the choice for today for Rio de Janeiro to try to get uh, to pay the troops less or and also at the same time get some more production to them right train them faster you want them as quickly as possible uh we do have another builder coming up from Curitiba, and i do want to uh, take a look here fancus here it looks like he's gonna go for a very fast civil service to give pedro the second as much uh, damage as possible that extra plus five uh, from a um, earlier military alliance would be quite valuable over here for pedro that would also mean Fancus is gonna manage to is gonna need to get a lot more culture than everybody else to actually catch up on the feudalism timing. And I do wanna actually make it right here. Uh, first of all, I did say that the uh, Netherlands is on five cities. He's actually on six. He did pick up Granada. We totally forgot about this one. Got a builder from there and will get the diamonds improved. And I do also notice he did find out where Phoenicia is and that Phoenicia has a way to get to him and he has a way to get to Phoenicia, right? It goes both ways. We got uh, another Phoenician settler going for the spy style. Uh, that would be a, I would say it's a mistake over there to go for the spy style. Even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to get closer to Brazil, he needs to. And the reason I'm saying it is quite uh, weird to actually go for that spy style is like literally tiles. Like that city past four pop is not gonna get a uh, tile to use, right? He has one, two three four five five okay sorry five tiles i mean you want your city to be at least seven pop right yeah uh, anyway um yeah michael might be the happiest person on twitch <laughs> as going good evening sir salute salute yeah he's kind of stuck he's kind of stuck brazil over here is definitely stuck uh, we are expecting him to try to get the uh, ship building and we are expecting him to actually get some uh, units out uh, towards his own uh, I would say it mm, ah, on the water some settlers out in the water so he can uh, get away from this maybe maybe there is a way in between the vision of the Didonian units here maybe you know might happen might happen we do have uh, France also getting Li Yang in the city of Bordeaux unfortunately he built all of this oh my god man so he built five farms, six farms, five of them got destroyed by a flood. Or was it six and he just repaired the rice tile? I think it was six, right? I think it was six. He did manage to get Lady of the Reason Marshes, which of course was definitely a possibility. We talked about it early on. Uh, and I do notice he's going to start uh, finishing up his harbors for those. And of course, going for the um, lighthouses, he does need the extra trade routes. He did put out a harbor also from the city of Bordeaux interesting he did manage to get his cover plaza with audience chamber getting himself uh, quite a bit of extra food there and housing another city state has been taken down i do see samarkand is a chinese city at this moment in time and we do have uh, also still no takeover of the city of Cardiff. tina stop it god man cat is just doing cat things Anyway, uh, Brazilian Spearman showing up on the front line. It doesn't look like at the moment Mapuche is interested in pushing into them. Uh, he definitely knows their strength and he, that he cannot push that. We do have more settlers uh, showing up. Pebbleton is going to get his military engineer from the general available for him to uh, make it available for him to create the pathways uh, towards the front line much, much faster, much easier to move an army through the forest and the hills with a road. Uh, multiple builders are also coming around. I would imagine he did get uh, feudalism, so he's going to 
gonna get five charges with the extra two charges from the card from the feudalism card yes athena she's playing hide and seek <laughs> She's coming in, actually, um, how to say, you're poking me a little bit, and then, woo, gets out of here. <laughs> Talking about poking the bear, man. Talking about poking the bear. Uh, strange Dido we have here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess we're going to need to see how he's going to evolve his cities, and I'm pretty sure he's going to try to get to cannibals. There's no other way with Wilhelmina on the seas. Mathematics coming out from uh, Fangus. We do have uh, Pebbleton actually going Mathematics also. Ibanka is going to go for currency. Yeah, while I do notice he's going to get quite an army of builders here, he's going to start improving all of this um, territory quite quickly, not to mention benefit from the extra boost of production from his chops i do see apple door has been settled over here to the west of amsterdam oh biggest wonder in the game hanging gardens coming up from amsterdam and i do see great bath in tilburg now some theater squares also popping out here i'm pretty sure we're gonna see um, a few districts being placed over here in between the districts and the city of amsterdam still no movement for the troops I, we do see uh I got you! I grabbed you! Okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I forgot this ticket. No. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no! <laughs> uh, trying to catch the golden age, looks like. Yeah, makes me want again, again. Okay, well, I am gonna need to actually. Um... Ah. How do you call this? How do you call brush her hair or something? I think it's brush her hair, right? Uh, adorable critter. Yes, Salvia. Yes, indeed. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Yeah. Uh, they do need to scour it. They do. Yuck. Uh, Wallostron uh, showing up here in Rio de Janeiro next turn, giving that advantage to Brazil of extra production. While Mapuche shouldn't be that far away from getting his um, castle standing, he's on mathematics next turn, and he did finish civil service alongside Marvin. Um, or did he not? Wait a second, did he finish it or not? Let's see. The, does he have extra? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? What is? No. <clears throat> Happy kitty, happy kitty. A cat will try to uh, get to my snakes, though. Yeah, that's that would be bad. That would, I don't know who's gonna win, though. Who do you think will win, the Beasley? Snakes or cats? Hey, hey, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh man, my uh, the other cat, uh, how to say the, um, the mother cat basically, uh, she was so annoyed when she saw the, um, how to say, the hand, you know, like when you do this, when you do like this, oh my god, she was so annoyed, no, oh, she wanted to fight the hand. <laughs> Uh, no offense to uh, cats, but snakes would win for sure. Takoros, good evening, sir, and welcome. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Man. A Venetian answer seems to have a huge priority. Well, let's actually see if they do manage to actually get Venetian over here. Uh, we do have um, to see when that industrial zone is going to be placed so we get to uh, see what's going on. I do see uh, Temenaki is going to be placed in Tushpa. A bit surprising that we didn't see Temenaki here on France. Oh, there we go. It is coming up in seven turns. Wait, isn't that the same team? Are they? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did I miss this? Where was that? Here, right? Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. So, Pyramids did finish on China. Did I miss that? So, okay. Where was it? Temen Anki? Here. It's the same team. It's the same team, right? Yeah. I think there's a bit of a miscommunication in between the players. We do have uh, the French player, uh, Sugary, going for the Temenanki, the biggest lady of the region marshes. And then his, his ally is going for one as well in the city of Tushpa. But it looks like they actually talked it out and um, we don't have France going for it. So wait, he just killed the tile for nothing? Oh, that might be bad. Yeah, Sivsin won. 
do we actually put a safe safe i mean wait wait they actually stopped doing it right they they stopped doing it. they they let the uh, burja get it he stopped doing it i don't think it's a safe scene anymore build it i mean I, oh oh that is yeah that's different lancer is pointing out that uh, you shouldn't build a temenaki not in the lady of the reason martian city that already has liang in right you should get it in there okay we're, we're putting this as a sin it's confirmed i'd also notice uh, mapuche is getting quite a few warriors here and uh, my mind is uh, thinking is he actually gonna go for men at arms against his opponent i mean that would definitely be a counter to the anti camp that his opponent is making um, we do have brazil with quite a few of these uh, spearmen coming out of his cities ready to upgrade into um uh, pikemen when he's gonna get the military tactics thick right three city mapuche yeah we do have three city mapuche he was building a fourth one from Engulu mapu and a fifth one came out of well mapu so he's gonna be on five cities but yeah it is a bit later than we were uh, used to uh three times for the temenaki to finish in the city of tushpa i do notice more cities got settled to the west too. he's done five at the moment now while he did put down mausoleum at halicarnassus in his capital in the uh yields tab we do have marvin on 75 points of production on the other side jules for art on uh, kublai china is on 73 but thank on um, Dutch is on 84 has the most production in the game also 29 science with 45 culture definitely needs more science no, but the production is evident over here we do have uh, Magnus giving him so much of a boost not to mention he's uh, getting the gold with Reina in the south with 48 gold per turn Fankus is um, managing to give as much gold as uh, Damimu needs and they do have also Jules for art on 44 gold at 10 and I do also notice uh, we have um, uh, Portos on 84. Portos' uh, sacrifice will be known. He's only on 17 signs with 29 culture. And of course, with Reina opener and not a follow up in Magnus or something else. Unfortunately, he's not getting the yields good from uh, from a Moksha or Pingala. And uh, what I do notice is quite a slow beginning. He did get uh, Sestra Hall again of a slowdown. He's uh, unfortunately not managing to get to the seventh population in the city of uh, Korakorum easily unless he's going to start putting down some more improvements that would give him the extra housing and of course the food he needs this is actually quite slow i would say you guys agree this is looking quite slow yeah uh, we do have to take a look here okay what, what's going on we got some horses moving in from uh, Fonisha from ibanka he's uh, making his um government uh, diplo quarter i mean uh harbor projects from Fonisha while he is gonna start getting the medieval era ones uh, we do need to see who is gonna get the most of them. Netherlands is on 3.4 points and we do have Fonisha on 4.6. Give me a second because too much hair. Give me a second. I can't get rid of the hair. There we go. Uh, Rambling Man Mongolia does have a good economy at least. Yeah, he does. He does. The sacrifice, I'm telling you, man, the sacrifice of Mongolia here getting their uh, economy going up so he ha can help all his teammates will be well known. Uh, what's Pesha's Pantheon? He went for God of the Forge and he's not making army. I don't know. Beep boop. Yeah, I think France should go for Venetian. They have a Renaissance and a Wonder production bonus, and they're in a position to use it. On the other team, China should go for it. Let's actually see who's going to get it here. They do need to put on uh, the necessary infrastructure for it, or I should say the industrial zone next to the coast. And at the moment, I don't really see an easy industrial zone set up over here for them next to the coast. Uh, we do have harbor shipping projects also coming around from France, from two cities. He's definitely going to be looking to get one of those uh, admirals, while Sugary is starting to figure out Chinese units are on the right side. Uh, and I do see Mongolia is here. Whoa, he actually got that uh, warrior so far in the peninsula. Now, we still don't have... Uh oh Brazil settler is trying to get away and embark on a journey for his life and there is a admiral of i mean he should just go around the admiral right there's like no unit to actually take that settler he should oh there is a unit here never mind and we do have uh, Phoenicia actually putting down settlers towards Yokul, the wonder the um, 
Tundra Wonder, Tundra Volcanic Wonder, actually. Uh, France and Idol should already pre plan. Yeah, and then build the Sister Hall in the and What in the world is Persia cooking? I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, he's cooking something. Uh, Marvin here is uh, gonna start getting his chops from uh, the stone tiles, I would assume, for that mausoleum at Halicarnassus. He still has uh, theater squares in the build queues and he's getting his um, Peridezas in the tiles. He can. He still did not actually pair the Peridezas in Cherry Kumis. Didn't think of all, at all about that. Did manage to get a discount on a campus, a one turning it in the city of uh, Shani Kumis. And I do see Magnus did get plugged into that city center. Yeah, in the yield stamp, I'd also notice uh, at the moment actually Marvin did manage to get over Fancus's uh, 82 production. He's on 83. Interesting. Now, well, we do have uh, Mapuche managing to settle the, his city right in the face of Brazilian uh, units. And of course, he is managing to also complete the road with the military engineer. Gonna get a trader to help him connect his capital. Uh, while uh, he's gonna get quite a few of these warriors to get his men at arms units against his opponent. And I gotta say, this is a game kind of a game game of rock paper scissors right you have um the horses that are gonna do more damage to um uh, arches but they're gonna take less time um, how to say yeah they're gonna take more damage from spearmen the spearmen that will um, take more damage from arches but also will uh, not do that much damage to them but they will uh, take a lot more damage from the uh, from the um, swordsman the swordsman that will um, not take that much damage from the argent will do that, a lot of damage to them and so on like the there's uh there's quite a bit of a how to say a circle circle going on can we show the era score yes sir now we got quite a bit of time actually until the next one right eight more turns athena well athena she actually came to us athena anyway now we, we don't have them uh, that close to the golden age at the moment in Anna score. I do also see uh, Ibanka is going to be five points away on Dido. Uh, we do have five points on Marvin and then uh, Sugary is going to have 10 away. Oh, Fankus did actually manage to get enough points over the edge. 57 out of 55. Uh, he's also managing to get uh, these improvements on the diamond style. So he gets more amenities. I don't want to double check this on the amenity screen. What do we have here? uh t -t 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 eight right eight there we go zero 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 uh, zero zero okay they're content plus three is on mapuche he only he stayed on four cities uh we do have zero over here on uh, catherine on the other side zero on mongolia zero on china yeah zero everywhere uh, zero also on dutch daido zero zero Okay, so yeah, they're content. the majority of the empires are actually content, except Mapuche. Mapuche seems to be a very happy bunch. Yeah, when prediction, let me actually, okay, I mean, sure. Yeah, let's get the prediction going for who will win. On one side, we do have uh, Lo Senat, on the other side, uh, La Limatori. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna put it for 10 minutes because I don't know how long this game is gonna go um yeah there we go put it up i put it up <laughs> is la is uh, los a new team no it's not actually no it's not um i do believe these teams are mostly playing for fun not actually to get into the cwc or something so uh, yeah we're actually gonna need to see uh, how are they gonna get their fun yeah, we do have Ibanko on 80 points of production. Looks like also Jules for that on Kublai did jump up to 85. Uh, this would be an interesting moment to actually see if he's getting... No, he's not. He's not getting the industrial zones yet. Not yet. Okay, well, let's see. Brazil. Where is the settler? Did he delete his settler? Guys, are you seeing the settler anywhere? I don't see the settler anymore. Did he actually delete the settler? Uh, can you add team names? Breaking news? Yes, sir. Good evening. Now, uh, let's see. On the right side, we do have a low senate. There we go. And on the right side, on the left side, let me see. We do have Lanimatori. There we go. Just need to put them in order yes 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 there we go it should be fine uh that will probably stole and deleted uh, i don't think he could have stolen and deleted unless unless uh, he did actually go into the water and there was a biting that did, did manage to take it 
Also, I kind of, well, I guess it did take a few turns for us to move around. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, you know, we're not that far away from Mapuche actually upgrading his units. I do see uh, Temple of Artemis is also going to finish in Puel Mapu for more amenities. He's getting his uh, monuments and libraries for more culture and uh, science. Why not? Uh, Temenaki did finish in the city of Tushma for Persia. He started to put the farms in to get the... Um, uh, extra tiles that worked with extra science uh, he's also putting down a few more commercials and still did not get the religion he got his soul size never got a religion was just for the discount this was just for the discount that's so weird okay uh, the Western Sea is Dido territory. Yes, indeed it is. The Western Sea is definitely Dido territory in uh, All Saints Bay. Wow. What is this? Isn't this a Brazilian Bay? So wait a second. Dido took over the Brazilian Bay. Uh oh. Yeah. The yeah. Mhm. Mm oh. We do have a religion here on Netherlands. Looks like Hinduism did get placed, um, or I should say, discovered in Nijmegen. Where did he get it going? And how did he get it in quite a few cities? Anyway, let's actually see what's the religion. Uh, Netherlands, did he get it in Tilburg? Uh, Zen meditation with stewardship. He's going to get the extra two science on the campuses and extra two go points of gold on his commercials. Well, he doesn't have commercials, but he has quite a few campuses and he's building one commercial wow and it looks like we're gonna have a pause here uh, in a few minutes what i should say in a minute uh for a quick bio and that reminds me i should actually go to the toilet but i think i can wait until yeah we can wait until the, the rollover i don't know how long the pause will be uh in skede is uh petra city it uh, looks like I was thinking he's going to put it a little bit more to the south if he wants to get a Petra city so he can be uh, closer to the chops. But it looks like he uh, actually chose to put it uh, very, very close to the other cities. Maybe they're thinking of another city placement here. There is another spot in between the mountains. Although that's kind of a weird spot for a city to be there. Anyway. And Mongolia going to get his army of builders. I do see harbors popping out. Uh, he's uh, going to start getting externals towards um, Netherlands also. That would actually go around the Reina cities. Uh, yeah, not this one. Amsterdam is getting the help of Reina here. And I do see Magnus is uh, establishing Apple Dorm to the west side for Netherlands. Uh, I hate to admit, Blaze was right. They need to sue the CS to kill a CS uh, to, for escape. Yes. He was, yes, he was. And I, I mean, we were thinking Cardiff would be the perfect target to take out Vatican City. Cardiff even has a galley next to Vatican City. All that they need to do is uh, help him soothe that and give uh, China a few more galleys, right? A bit of time to uh, bonk against the defenses of Vatican City. Anyway, we're going to pause here. Actually, let me put up the timer so everybody knows. Let's put it for five minutes because I think this is a quick break. There we go. Okay, well, be right back. Yeah, surprise Brazil is still alive. Good evening, Anton. Good evening, sir.
Bam, bam. Okay, what's the city production right now? It's 24. What do we have on the other cities? Here you can say 18 factories on. I'm actually curious how this uh, production on uh, the normal internal trade routes are going to work here. Definitely, uh, Persia is incentivized to go for internals, and uh, by the looks of it, he does have 93 points of production versus uh, Kublai, that is 94, very close to each other. Governor Moksha on one side, and also I do see an, a single trade route here for Jules. I, yeah, there is a single trade route for uh, China. Unbelievable, two, four, six cities uh, compared to six soon. Yeah, he does have Persia. I did manage to get Parsa, and we need to click this off. The starting thing, the countdown timer. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what do we have next? It looks like Mapuche is um, gonna get his army of men at arms. The problem is Brazil's full army is made out of pikemen. I do have to point out, uh, looking at the warriors over here, even the warriors are uh, gonna get the extra plus 10 against anti-camp units. You can imagine when they're actually gonna get to uh, men at arms. That's gonna be uh, two takes over the warrior. We do have uh, Granaries also starting to uh, finish from Pebbleton, and I do see he's gonna go for a Diplo quarter. Now, he didn't manage to get the extra production for the Shimamul making a 2-3-5 at the moment. He did not settle a city towards the south, towards France, which is a bit surprising. I would have expected he's going to get this on the cattle soon. Anyway, uh, more uh, traders coming around from France. He started to put down his chateaus. We don't have them in a lot of uh, extremely good places. He does have um, a lack of production in uh, at least two that I can see. While one is going to be good, he doesn't have a lot of culture or gold. This one is good, the 2213. Now, we do have him uh, also getting a few galleys out to the east side. He does know that China is coming for him. Uh, I do have to point out if they do manage to take out Brazil entirely, it's going to be a four versus three situation, and that means somebody's not going to have a military alliance. That would probably be Mongolia that's not going to get a military alliance. Or maybe, wait a second, I think actually Kublai has um, less chance to win on the coast, right? We should see Mongolia getting uh, quite a bit of extra uh, diplomacy. Visibility. Oh, he doesn't have the infrastructure. No, he does. He's not set up for any kind of naval warfare here. So I'm pretty sure Mongolia is not going to get this. Uh, not going to be in the fight. So he's not going to have that uh, military alliance. I do have him uh, putting down his campuses, and I do notice uh, he's also going to start uh, getting more traders out. Magnus in the city of Al Malik to help him uh, finish up the harbor for that uh, lighthouse quickly. And of course, uh, we're going to need to see China starting to get a freedom. We do have uh, him needing to put out the harbor from Beijing. I do see him uh, getting that seventh population next turn. While I do see Chengdu already finished one, uh, Wuhan already finished one also. Now, Handan did finish one. Unfortunately, he's going to need to make a canal uh, to actually get those boats from that lake into the main water now uh, they did have the possibility also to take over the city of uh, cardiff with uh, brazil so they could help out the takeover of the city of vatican unfortunately it doesn't seem they have that plan in their mind we do have uh, china with the galley actually just i think he got distracted by the shiny amber underneath the water so he actually got into that bay totally forgetting that uh, he should actually bonk against vatican city yeah the bank of Genghis Sim saddens me, yes sir. This is such an uh, unusual position, right, for Genghis Khan. I do see the first man of times uh, did pop out, and I do want to point out that 75 strength against the Paimon 69, and that is with a general bonus. He does have oligarchy legacy on his side, um, military alliance, and the general bonus. While on the other side, Brazil also has a general. It's not up to the challenge. Uh, we do also need to see if uh, Pebbleton is uh, going to start moving soon. Yeah, he should start moving this time. There's no reason to wait for more. Uh, we do have him managing to also get Abu. That's going to give him more heals whenever uh, he's going to have Abu next to his units. And I do notice uh, Brazil is slowly making more general points, but not interested in the next one. In the next scientist, uh, let's see, did anybody do something? No, we don't have uh, Newton, we don't have yet... Um, uh, Ib Khaldun, and I do see uh, Zankian is going to be picked up by Mongolia for the extra trade routes. I mean, you know, that's good. That's definitely good for him to get more traders. And uh, wow, France actually managed to get the holy side one. He's not going to have a holy side to work it. Anyway, uh, Reina establishing Marseille for the extra gold to trade with Mapuche. And I do notice a battery and I'm starting to move towards the front line for Mapuche to start bonking against city walls with full strength of his uh, men at arms, of his units. Uh, Temple of Artemis did 
Excellent finishing pool. Mapu for more amenities. We should have another plus three city here. Okay. Well, he does have two of them while his captain did grow. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the extra population there, uh, the extra happiness. So we don't actually have even the seventh pop available for Angulu Mapu. And that is a, a bit unfortunate he doesn't have the housing you can see it is um population camped over here it does have the surplus food but not not growing not growing that quickly uh, multiple um, also libraries coming around from sugary taking a look at the tech side Fancus is three times away cartography and i do not see him getting that many boats out two of them maybe okay a few of them coming out from granada <clears throat> again not that many no, i do have to point out we do see the same here on phoenicia and i do have to point out also ibanka is going for education in four turns right now it's uh, quite late on cartography we might see Fancus actually getting a significant advantage of time against Ibanka before Ibanka can actually get enough of his caravels out okay looking at the moves Pebbleton is starting to uh, bonk against the Brazilian defenders and yes Brazil will need all of the gold that his uh, teammates can spare we do have Portos on 134 gold the 10th 61 on Jules and Fancus is on 91 they did give the Miu 359 gold and right now the Miu Miu Brazil is upgrading his pikeman line every one of these spearmen will get the upgrades will get the new equipment unfortunately i do have to point out these uh, many times getting next to the pikeman it's causing the pikeman to run away he's screaming we do have them not able to do anything against the many times uh, attacking into them and of course when they are defending they're taking a lot of damage man they're just not made for this they're just not i mean they have so big sticks so big sticks like you know big problem big problem yeah big problem uh daniel hello Derson, and welcome hey wait a second we did get uh oh we got 30 likes on youtube thank you so much sirs. much appreciated we did it boys we did it let's actually see can we go for 40 can we do it can we push it a little bit oh my god thank you so much guys let's see uh and the poll here thank you let's see start the poll can we get to 40 likes yay or nay uh, Shan also, hello there, Sen, and good evening. Uko Supreme Brazil has been building three cities from Mapuche for Mapuche. Yes, the only thing is on Brazil over here, I do have to point out he um, ideally would have needed to have a few more archers, like at least like four or five more archers that could turn into um, crossbows because that would definitely help him out to try to defend this. But um, yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of time. I know working in two turns for Damiumio, Divine Light in three, and I do see he's uh, managing to do the damage against Mapuche's horses in the north, actually, bridge one of the tiles there of uh, the Mapuche offense so we do need to see how the main attack is gonna go through I'm pretty sure Mapuche is gonna start moving towards Rio de Janeiro slowly yeah there we go that's the first pikeman being taken out might be another pikeman being taken out over here there is a movement on this time and there is a possibility for him to attack into that unit and uh, take it down that's a half hp pikeman just waiting to be ripped apart more archers coming in from uh, mapuche and uh, we do need to see what the golden ages look like let's actually see two more turns we got portos dark age jewels dark age damium dark age fancus golden age on the other side sugary about to take that uh, golden age he does need one more point and uh well at the moment i don't see what is he gonna do maybe levy maybe see some i don't know we'll see uh, we'll see if he does manage to get it. Uh, Ibanka 59 58. I do see Pebbleton 54 58. He does need four more points on Mapuche. And uh, well, he doesn't have his castles yet. He's going to get it next turn with Divine, right? That should be exactly on the right moment so he can get the four points he needs for the next golden. Now, Marvin also, he did manage to get 53 out of 52. So Persia is securing his golden age. He did finish with Mo uh, Mosdoliem at Halicarnassus. Unfortunately, except the bonuses that he's getting for his engineers, the extra charge he's not getting anything else he doesn't have a single one of these styles improved with the extra bonuses of mausoleum not that he actually wanted to work that anyway uh, we do have him sending one of his immortals to the front line putting their name to the test against the brazilian pikeman i do see the immortals are definitely not strong enough at the moment to handle those those units 
you know, Brazil switching production towards Maritimes to get a unit um, just the same as his opponent. I do have to point out the second Damiumiu is going to lose his gold range. He's not going to get an extra plus five on his units from his opponent anymore. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Mapuche is going to have a harder time actually attacking into the Brazilian defenders. And uh, wait a second, Brazil might... <laughs> Guys, Brazil might actually make it. Brazil might make it with the dodge, exactly like August is saying, with the dodge on his um, uh, golden age, he might make it through. I do have to point out he's going to lose uh, at least one line of his defenders before the golden age, and that's still going to be quite a problem. You know, we do need to see also the upcoming uh, units, um, especially the Mapuche crossbows, when they're going to get through. There we go. Another unit is going to be taken down here. Quite a few shots on that single unit, though. Uh, can he take down in camels? No. No, he can't take down in camels, or at least not yet. And um, yeah, with the first initial finding, these meta times are a little bit tired. He's going to need to uh, wait, wait, and he can't afford to wait. Uh, we do have Mapuche manual readers getting upgraded in the city of LPQI of uh, Dido. And I do see Phoenicia did actually grab that time. Oh, wait. Why are they upgrading here? They, they cannot go through the encampment, right? If he wants to go through the encampment, he cannot go through the encampment kick double he needs to come back to the south <clears throat> yeah i mean i guess it's, it's not happening so in camon did not get taken down and, um, and this is where those crossbows from brazil or uh, quite a few more arches would have helped uh, quite a bit to take out these last minute times uh, strength well it is what it is it didn't happen it you did not see anything we got finance managing to get one of his items um iron unit in marseille that means he did manage to get the points and uh, let's see he's no he's not he's still 52 out, uh, there we go sorry 53 out of 53 i just needed to update the screen here so we do have three nations from uh, uh lanima to Lanimaleri uh, going for a Dark Age. This is going to be quite a problem, actually. Uh, quite a problem. Let's see. Fleets from China? Uh, not really. We got a few boats, but not really massive amounts of fleets. He's getting his industrial zones, but not that next to the coast. So um, that's not going to happen. The, um, I would say the Venetian arsenal that we were looking for is not going to happen here. Maybe it's going to happen in Netherlands, on Dutch. Uh, Dutch did manage to actually put down some um, some of his forwards in Granada and uh, will have the ability to upgrade his bows, right? He has cartography right now, but so does Ibanka getting cartography in two turns. He's not late, actually. Netherlands is late if he wants to upgrade. He doesn't have. Okay, he doesn't. He did not get it. Uh, defending against the Phoenician here uh, by him, and I still don't see him putting down those industrial zones next to the coast so he can get his uh, Venetian arsenal. It's not happening, guys. It's not happening. I do have uh, also uh, campus coming out from Tilburg. That would be what is this? What is this, and why don't I see it? I see this. Oh, here, here. Okay, that's that's amazing. Actually, that's a plus six campus uh, on the former banana tile. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, is this the turn? This is the turn with the era rollover. So we can see the damage without the extra plus 5 on the Brazilian unit. 74 against 77. Brazil did it! Stronger units against the minute arms of Mapuche. The plan of Mapuche has been foiled. Yeah, we do have Rio de Janeiro here. Getting uh, more minute arms uh, slowly. And of course... Um, and did manage to uh, get some promotions on his archer. Still not doing enough damage to push these mana times back. But with the uh, less damage on his um, opponent's mana times to attack into his units, it's going to be easier for him to defend. While I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be a problem with Mapuche crossbows, he might he might actually manage that he might manage that uh there need to be a lot more mapuche crossbows if uh yeah there we go that's that's what we're seeing over here more of these uh, getting trained and sent to the front line he does have at least two more that are going to show up there that is going to help him push through the brazilian defenders uh ancestral hall plus card of forge and it's scared yeah i don't know i don't know this seems like uh, marvin did have like a bit of a he had a plan in mind that he switched midway and then he he switched again three uh, three i would say um 
three quarters of the way there and so on and so forth it feels like uh, it definitely could have been a bit more optimized here uh, 92 science on marvin 61 science uh, 61 culture that's definitely good result 117 points of production while uh, jules on kubla is on 132 we do have fancus on 132 as well i do have to point out the banker is <clears throat> on 120 science free inquiry golden is showing up for him is uh, sh helping him uh, so much right now actually managing to get um, the bindings out uh, to pre-build those caravels and he's gonna finish more great lighthouse for more speed on those units we're gonna have uh, the golden age also options read out after we're gonna have the um, <clears throat> the congress we're gonna need to give them a few more a few minutes two minutes so they make this choice and we're gonna come back after that I'll be right back Oh, that was a fast congress. Wait a second. That was a fast congress. Let's see the war moves. Looks like King Hammond got taken down. Um, Brazil is uh, still going to get pressured by his opponent, Mapuche. He's not giving up. And I do see Mapuche's man are just seeing around the city of LPQI. Now they're actually managing to get a target going. Um, we do definitely see the pikemen are going to take quite a bit of damage from the Mapuche. Extra plus seven, extra battle cry promoted uh, men at arms. These pikemen are going to get it. <laughs> Uh, we do have also the crossbows showing up they did get upgraded in Piku Mapu and some of them are uh, coming in from the main cities of Mapuche and getting onto the front front line here soon okay let's see what's going on here industrial zone Harlem he start, he did manage to get a dam over there that's going to be a plus three industrial zone he's uh, finishing up the commercial in Amsterdam he wanted to get that plus eight going and I do have to point out Dutch is in a free inquiry golden age definitely doesn't have the same science as Ibanka though not yet he does need the naval tradition probably for the double harbor um yeah oh he does have it he does have the double harbor and town charters whoa he's gonna get a plus 16 uh oh whoa that's gonna be big he didn't even fin finish this uh, lighthouse in the harbor you see this he started it up at some point but he didn't finish it okay okay well he does have quite a few boats in deployed in granada again is for pre-built for those caravels while uh, phoenicia is preparing a big fleet to handle that we do have uh, some Mapuche Manor leaders also getting into the north in the lands of Phoenicia. i'm pretty sure guys i can bet that Mapuche wanted to get through this one tile choke to his opponent do you have the same impression but he cannot like he cannot move anywhere he cannot do anything did france levy city state to take some other city state i think he levied the city state of venice just so he can get his goldenish points i think that was the why he actually got those units there it looks like he got the levied um persian okay and neither first slot yes neither is first slot yes Okay. Brazil did manage to 
um, um, save one of his spike by moving it out of harm's way the other one is quite low hp behind uh, his defense is here video de janeiro and i do see men at arms are gonna start um, doing some counter attacks here we do need enough of them in numbers and it doesn't seem like he has the numbers at the moment uh, pebbleton no there we go more uh, promotions here thrust definitely is gonna help out balance things out uh, in the strength and he will get to pop out a heal there you know we do need to see when brazil is gonna manage to get his machinery next turn that's gonna allow him to upgrade these archers into stronger units and uh, looking at the eel stab we still have the goal per turn actually on uh, uh, ladimar Leri and then on uh, lessonat uh, the yields though the output of the series it does seem like it's more strong on lessonat we do have a sugary on uh, 70 uh, 89 science 43 culture and uh, did go for a free inquiry golden age still on five cities france and he's getting a massive fleet out actually in the south this looks like it's uh, he's gonna try to challenge the chinese supremacy on the coast while he did plug in one of his spies it's only a level one right now in the city of wuhan maybe he's gonna manage to finish a mission and get the level two before he's actually gonna get his fleet uh, against china here if china is actually not gonna take this seriously he's gonna lose his coast he really needs to take this seriously there's nobody else defending china and i do have to point out you don't really um i would say uh, you should not take france lightly that extra intel is quite a problem it is quite a problem uh we do have ibanka also uh, 124 science 51 culture 123 production uh, pebbleton 68 science 38 culture that goes from and did go for drums of war he's putting everything into this era to attack into brazil and manage to finish off the job here uh, while i do see marvin on 116 science and 66 culture he does have 130 production he does need to actually morph his empire into something else here he does have two four six cities and well at the moment he's not he, other than his stats he's not specializing in anything he's getting a significant amount of production you do see him lower than kublai lower than Fancus here even though he does have quite a few internal trade routes he chose to go for governor pingala and that just doesn't give him what he needs here Well, we do have uh, the Brazilian units actually taking quite a bit of a beating from uh, Mapuche's units. The men at arms are getting in, they are getting through. And uh, we do have uh, Rio de Janeiro's men at arms actually getting out there and doing the damage. Um, hmm, actually, Petro did not actually choose to upgrade his crossbows yet. Interesting. I was expecting him to do it this turn. Well, I guess it is what it is. <clears throat> And to have um, to take a look also at the fleet of uh, Netherlands if he's getting ready two four five six seven eight nine ten boats and he did actually discover caravel technology so that's ten boats there two four six eight ten boats here and I do have to say upcoming um, upcoming uh, quadrims pre-builds for those uh, very important frigates are gonna help out uh, Phoenicia over here win the war the seven provincians are also extremely strong from netherlands if he does manage to get them he did finish his commercial that actually gives him such a big boost in uh, the free inquiry golden age He's, that's a 24 science 24 adjacency commercial in his capital that's also 11 pop and he does have um, a bit of a problem with housing he's gonna get his uh, lighthouse and he will fix that not to mention get more food on these um coastal resources on the fish style and on uh, well i guess on the both fish styles actually um yeah 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 i did read this okay it's fine um the industrial zone harmony is gonna finish next time he's gonna start rolling through the points in the great people for the engineers i do see the first one for the culture has been picked up uh, for the sorry wonders have, have been picked up by kublai china and i do want to see what he's gonna use it on uh he did get a um, in, no, one of these uh, aqueducts and one of these uh, dams over here uh, aqueduct from beijing and dam from guangzhou uh, we do have uh, two of these um, <clears throat> industrial zones one from chengdu one from beijing oh this is beautiful but i love this and he's gonna get another one over here that's gonna be a plus five uh, when he <laughs> when he's gonna finish his uranium uh, he's gonna find out about uranium he's gonna get it um, higher but he doesn't know about it yet he does need to get to that technology that's far away I don't know why they mention it. That's very far away. 
Uh, why is French production behind others? Just Badlands? I don't think it's Badlands. I think it's uh, more a city count. He's on five cities and he put everything he could into this uh, navy. Uh, Sugar is going to get a massive, massive advantage against China uh, with it, because China just doesn't have his uh, infrastructure ready. He's going for uh, shipyards. He tries to get the production going and unfortunately he's kind of like ignoring the fact that France has a lot of intel. Six intel on opponent's movements against the Chinese units, even if uh, caravels against caravels, these units of France would be better. Rajendra Dracola, also Rahem Dracola, also available for ruin uh, for the French Navy. And on the other side, we do need to see if China did manage to recruit an admiral. I don't think so. He does have, oh, he has Lee Ferrickson. Okay, he has an admiral, but only three boats. And he's gonna start making a few more galleys. Five boats, actually. Only five boats. This is not enough. This is not enough. This is a much better timing for France to go against his opponent here. Intelligence Agency also finishing up next turn in the city of Paris. Uh, he's going to get another one of those um, admirals. Uh, sorry, he's a spice and we're going to need to see where he's going to put it in. With fewer and fewer units for the Brazilian defenders, it does seem like Mapuche is pushing forward. He does have three crossbows available to do so much damage against the pikemen of Brazil if they do manage to get uh, to, get, to uh, throw their shots against their opponents. Okay, uh, let's see here. What's happening? Netherlands, did he upgrade? No, he did not upgrade. Uh, nor do we see Fornisha upgrading. He does have Manor Raiders starting to move through his territory that cannot get onto the... Do you see this happening, by the way? These Manor Raiders cannot get onto the into the water? Because they're blocked by Byrims, right? Fornisha's Byrims? Kick W, man. Yeah, uh, Luke Kang also good evening sir, uh, going to be interesting, uh, would have been interesting if uh, Brazil and Mongolia will flip positions, uh, yeah, yeah, red card, red card, I mean, I don't know what these Malor leaders are doing, honestly, I have no idea what these Malor leaders are looking for, does anybody know what he wants to do with the Malor leaders? Maybe? No? Yeah, they're, they're kind of useless then, yeah maybe i know what it is they are parading for the phoenician units man they're going to uh you see where they're going they're going to make a show in the campus over there just parading on the streets in the dorms you know showing them how it's done yeah mapuche nation just showing up big over here for phoenician they're giving them the text <laughs> <laughs> just wasting gold okay okay i mean some people would say there is some value in the entertainment of uh, parades yeah might be you know sometimes manual readers need some education exactly lancer they've been they've been sent to educate for some uh wait wait how do you call that um <clears throat> how do you call that exchange of experience or something exchange of culture or something what wow culture and exchange man anyway we do have uh, the dams finishing up in tilburg <clears throat> And he's going to get um, for a massive amount of aqueducts here uh, from both Tilburg and uh, Eschende, uh, with Eschend, actually. And we do have the market finishing up in uh, Amsterdam. <clears throat> He's gonna get the extra trade route promotion here on uh, Reina. In the um, second part, you do see on the left side, he does have the double adjacency and plus one trade route capacity. If this city has both a market and a lighthouse, that's quite expensive actually to get both because of the district slots, but it does seem like they're giving them so much gold. We got Fancus on 158, we got Jules on 122, and Portus is gonna be 194. The question is, will the gold actually help them survive this? Uh, France's uh, fleet is moving quickly towards uh, Chinese borders and China is scrambling to get a fleet of his own getting as many galleys as possible that he can get with Isodor of Miletus getting into Shenyang. and I would imagine he might actually try to get Venetian of oh no he's trying to get Venetian no build the boats man you need the boats more than Venetian 
We got uh, also watermelon in Changsha and uh, quite a few more industrial zones are coming out from uh, all of the cities of uh, China. He did manage to get Omar Khayyam and that would be a next one. No, Galileo is still uh, up here. So that means nobody picked up uh, the next ones and they did not reveal where Newton is. With a few more tents for the French Navy to actually get to the Chinese borders, we do need to see if China is going to manage to somehow survive this. And, uh, you know, big question, did China get oligarchic legacy? Let's see some yays or nays in the chat. Did China get oligarchic legacy? I think that's a very important question. Did he get it? Uh, commercial hub gets uh, plus two gold from harvest, so it's actually good with Flink. Uh, Reina makes it more worth, but uh, yeah, without Reina and Flink, we're not worth to build both through a uh, nay. We got Daniel Dingo telling us nay. Well, let's actually see. That would be another plus four. They saved off the points here. He did get it. We did get it. Uh, Taco, I'm new to Simpson, so I, no problem, sir. So basically, Oregon Legacy is a card that you get revealed um, whenever you're going to get the specializing building in the government plaza so for the first government for the the governments that you open up with political philosophy uh, it's the first three ones right you're gonna get classical republic you're gonna get autocracy or oligarchy you know, oligarchy is um um yeah you know, I would say um, is a government that gives you more damage, more strength on your melee units. Uh, and uh, you, it's very, very useful when you're fighting um, on the coast like this with melee units like galleys, like caravans, like ironclads. You can make use of that plus four. Whenever you're going to finish the specialized, specializing building in the government plaza, you're going to get the respective card for the bonuses of that respective government. In the case of the uh, oligarchic, you get oligarchic legacy, which is plus four on your melee units, which is extremely useful right it is extremely useful now uh, mini anti-cab and naval mini class getting plus four yeah at the second tier government that's coming out right now is foreign ministry and by the looks of it uh, let's actually see what in what government uh, kublai is in monarchy okay so he's gonna get monarchy legacy uh, we do have also to take a look at uh, Fankus if he didn't manage to get the same thing. He also needs, yeah, there we go. He has oligarchic legacy. And I definitely saw it here. I definitely saw it on France's uh, boats. Okay, so there's a lot of gold on uh, jewels. I'm pretty sure they will have uh, the funds available for him to upgrade his boats. He does need to upgrade them right about now. And he's going for printing right about now. Trying to get a few more galleys. Well, at least one more wave of galleys. Uh, he did get this. What is this? Is this uh, Kilva? This kind of looks like Kilva. Is this Kilva? I don't know. It doesn't sh tell me. Mm. Uh, printing my helping holding of the coast. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a plus three shaved off from France. If France doesn't get his own printing. But no, France did get his printing. And for a few turns, he actually has plus nine intel on opponent's moments. We do have uh, Victor established in Shenyang, and I do see uh, he did manage to get a few chops to get the galleys. He's right now on 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 boats, 11 boats. He's getting uh, some on the right side here from Chengdu. Uh, while he's uh, going to discover cartography next time, uh, we do need to see uh, <clears throat> if the French caravels are going to have what they need to actually take out the Chinese units. Uh, I do also notice uh, the Mapuche attack on Brazil is starting to stall out over here. There still are a few uh, units that are being uh, smashed while I do see... Oh no, he's not stalling out. He just needed to replace some of these uh, many times on the front line. I think he lost quite a few of them. Only three of these have promotions and I'm pretty sure they would have had uh, time to get promotions. So yeah, he lost them. Yeah, we don't have actually Brazil getting the funds from his teammates to upgrade these uh, archers into crossbows. This would be quite valuable, but I think uh, they do have other investments to do right now. Uh, Fankus uh, not only did manage to get to 168 science, but he also has 112 culture, made he, making him much faster to get nationalism on his boats. At the moment, we do not have yet the Phoenician Navy moving, but he did start to actually upgrade these caravels, and we do need to see when he's going to get his fleet moving here. Here. Ibanka is going to get uh, to discover square rigging next turn and looking at the um, Niter count we do have Marvin and Pebbleton making quite a bit of Niter. Zero Niter on most of the seas of um, Ladimaleri. We do have just one on Portos. Just one Niter on Portos. Niter tied in Coracorum. Three rings out from that city center. Okay. 
We do have another knight here in Enchende, uh, but I do see Netherlands has other priorities right now, getting his production up. This is going to be a massive production boost, by the way. You can see it right now, 204 production from just his setup. This is amazing. And he's, uh, this is without actually shipyards in his... Um, this, By the way, this, this shipyard right here in Amsterdam is a 12 production shipyard. Amazing. Uh, cute kid is trying to escape. Where, where, where is he trying to escape? Is he trying to escape? Oh, he did manage to get another setter going. Oh, he's trying it again. We do have boats from Netherlands being sent to save the Brazilian nation. Oh my god, this is like in Star Wars. Uh, foreign Ministry in Beijing, we got uh, the carvels popping out and I would imagine uh, Jules Forart would want to get his Merchant Republic as quickly as possible for the press gang card. We actually have the ability to take a look right now of uh, the direct damage between these boats of France and his opponent. 77 against 71. Ooh, that's not fair. That's going to actually allow the French units to uh, deal and to smash three times against the Chinese ones and take them down. This is only with plus six. They should have only plus six, right? No, it's plus nine. Okay, so uh, Jules Forat is going to finish printing and he's going to have uh, a little bit less. Okay, is that a second spy being sent to China? Because I only saw Wuhan getting the spy on, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure France finished his intelligence agency and got another one of those spies out. I didn't see where it went though. Rio de Janeiro did get the walls up and uh, Mapuche did bring his battery ram to the fight if he will start doing the damage against the walls of Brazil quite quickly while uh, Pebbleton is trying to also grab another one of those tiles next to the city center. He cannot yet put it under siege but it shouldn't be that far away from getting that. In the north I do see Phoenicia is starting to actually move his cannibals and also upgrade these ones. He's uh, also getting some uh, Mapuche Malo Raiders in the, um, water here. Okay, Mongolia is seeing, by the way, this warrior in the forest is seeing what's happening around him. This is like in that episode from uh, Star Trek when you had those, um, how to say, you had a ship underwater and they were trying to fix a volcano and basically this warrior is uh, just standing over there saying, oh yes, all pray to the mighty volcano and then the boats start to come out of the water over there. Ah, fixed it. <laughs> Wurek, good evening, sir, and welcome. Um, I must, I must say, turn 63 Carnival Wars feels quite late. Yes, it is, it is. Uh, that was the movie Star Trek Into Darkness, exactly. The Into Darkness one, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that scene, man, when they were just, like, running through the forest to trying to dodge those, uh, what, what was it, those darts? <laughs> and then when they, they left the, um, uh, scroll up, you know, everybody was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, bro. Anyway, it is what it is, right? That's how it works. That's how it works. Knowledge, man. It's, uh, what was it? What was that saying? Um, man. No, no, I don't know. So wait, technology is indistinguishable from magic if it is too far advanced, right? That, that was the saying. Uh, anyone if uh, Star Trek will release another movie? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know, Lancer. Let me actually uh, check it this uh, quickly out. Let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, yeah, here. There are no movements yet from uh, Star Trek new movie. Um, they did put out that very bad series, by the way. Very bad series from uh, Star Trek New Horizons or whatever. It's No, not New Horizons. <gasps> new Horizons 2025. Chris Pine is coming back. Woohoo! Yeah, 20, uh, Star Trek uh, New Horizons, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out. I don't want to actually click on the trailer and get more uh, details, but yeah. Uh, there's a Paramount Plus a Section 31 movie coming out. Interesting, okay. Uh, any sufficient advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Ah, there we go. Pelican, I've actually knew the exact quote. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, yeah it's been forever yeah it's been it's been actually it's been forever and i have to say it's been forever from the expanse like come on let's be real about this the expanse best series since star trek let's still start again there's i don't think there's another series like even coming close to what the expanse did like it's the expanse right here and star trek discovery is like a speck over here somewhere in the in the bottom you know it's like a tiny speck of dust yeah 
It's been five series, but all bad. Like, I don't think there was a single Star Trek series that was good in between. They tried it out. They didn't. I don't know, man. It, it's like they, they forgot to do movies, good movies. Maybe they should get schooled by uh, 2000, uh, you know, uh, something people. Uh, those uh, producers were actually doing the job. Oh, well, it is what it is. Hey, hey, uh, Netherlands Caravals coming in. Okay, uh, let's see the bonking. Bonking is about to start in France versus China. We do have uh, France with his caravals uh, starting to wrap around. Lusan Chen is moving his uh, caravals to the front line. He doesn't have the opportunity to actually triple attack. And I do see Sugar is moving in. He does need to actually click on buttons. Oh no, he's not clicking fast enough. And unfortunately, left China the opportunity to create a line. This is the worst case scenario. You want to actually get three units, three vectors of attack against one single unit to take to secure the kill. <clears throat> and he would have had this uh, one extra pokey pokey caravel here come on Ch come on france move forward you have the strength my boy he's actually 77 against the uh, opposing 77 of his uh, chinese counterpart here okay and i do see china is uh, starting to bring some qu uh, quadrims while france will have uh, two quadrims three four quadrims he still needs to actually uh, get some um, upgrades going and of course discover square rigging we got jules are two tenths away from square rigging while uh, sugary is two tenths away from military engineering i do also notice mapuche did take out the walls in brazil while uh, the netherlands force of peace is helping he is helping brazil get that set in the water we don't need to see if ibanka is going to manage to push these back no he's not and of course uh wait brazil doesn't have shipbuilding yet no no a level two crossbow by the way look how strong this level two crossbow is Uncre incredible incredible 62 attack strength against the maritimes 57 easy to take that one unit down and the two uh, trebuchets of Mapuche will make quick work of any defenders of uh, Rio de Janeiro. And that would make uh, the city squishy enough to be taken out. We're going to need to see if uh, Brazil is going to manage to buy enough time to get this settler out and safe. Oh no. Ibanka Scarvel coming up from Ugarit for the clutch. He's actually going to wrap around the Netherlands Caravels and will take those down. Yeah, there's no way these guys are going to survive. No way. And I do also notice Fonisha did upgrade a few more units and started to get a few privateers out of his unit. Oh, Venetian Arsenal in Nathan's Ibanka Scamp. Wait, where, where is the other Venetian Arsenal? It was here, right? Somebody was trying to build... Oh, he was trying to build it in Shenyang. That's not happening anytime soon. Even if he does have Isodori, that's not happening. Okay, there's quite a bit of hesitation here from uh, Sugary. He does have uh, this unit, this caravel. Actually, uh, weak. Yeah, this, this caravel. Come on. This caravel. This is the caravel you want to go for. Move. No, he's not. And I don't know what these galleys are doing here. Are these like fans, cheerleaders or something? Like they're cheering for, um, sorry, I don't mean any disrespect. They're cheering for the caravels in front. Because I don't think they can do anything other than maybe some support bonus. They don't really do anything, right? They're just there for, I don't know, there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, at least uh, there is a last season of the foundation coming. Uh, when is the last season of the foundation coming? Oh my god, I need to actually rewatch that. I need to rewatch that. It was a pretty good, um, pretty good, pretty good actually a movie. Extremely good actually. I, I don't want to say pretty good. It's extremely good movie. Extremely good series. Um, I don't know if I like the second one that much. The second series. But anyway, it is what it is. It felt like it's a bit too uh disconnected from the timeline you know too chaotic from a timeline it felt like a continuum in that sense actually too disconnected how dare you insult lord De and come on man like really lord thanks bro i mean that uh, we're looking for a, like i don't know man uh, I, in my opinion i when i watch uh, um how to say these uh, science fiction movies i'm actually trying to take a look okay what did people imagine what did these producer imagine that's going to happen in that universe you know how they're uh, how they're actually going to put it in uh, um 
<clears throat> in the scene how they're expressing their ideas what kind of ideas from the small to the big like uh, from the big ideological ones to the smallish uh, technological ones that you would actually see hello see data pad by the way it, uh, actually revealed it was revealed first in star trek series star wars series and then poof right in a few dozens of years later we actually have everybody has a data pad what do you think this is what do you think this is this is a data pad from Star Trek, basically, right? It's exactly the functionality that a data pad would have. Imagine you would have this <clears throat> back before the technology was just not there. So definitely there's quite a bit of influence that's coming out from these uh, movies and the good ideas are being, or sometimes also the bad ideas, which is kind of a problem. So, but that's not my, uh, I guess not my department. They should fix this. Um, anyway, we will need to see how... Um, technology will be will be implemented from the movies into uh, real life and uh, taking a look also how they're trying to picture uh, societal changes in the future because of uh, x y and z oh my god that's just incredible right you get a bit of a sneak peek into a possible future and try to deduce is it good is it bad is it worth it is it not like do we need to go this route or do we need to change something uh when james bond jetpacks yeah yeah well uh, let's actually see what we have here Fran's still not moving is giving so much time to chan i i'm starting to lose faith that sugar is actually gonna get this against jules at four up i think jules is actually right now definitely definitely on the higher uh how to say on the advantage yeah he's on the advantage right here we didn't have see any trades from france when he had the opportunity to do the damage against the chinese cannibals and uh, this just gives china time to get his squadrons out and upgrade them into frigates which is going to make it so e so much more easier to actually attack into the french cannibals uh, looking here it does seem like they did manage to deny um the escape city of brazil uh, while uh, two of the brazilian cities are also going to be taken at the same time only porto alegre will be a bastion over here between the mountains next to motrace canyon <clears throat> I do see Mapuche did manage to get um, around the city of Rio de Janeiro. Did not put that city yet under siege. There still are tiles over here for him to take. But it kind of feels like Rio de Janeiro is going to be taken out next turn. With uh, quite a bit of firepower remaining to shoot the city with. Uh, looking at the fleet of Netherlands. We do have it moving towards uh, Granada. No, moving past Granada. He's actually going to... Um, get right in the face of the phoenician fleet here and it does look like phoenicia is better uh is much readier for this than his opponent we do have phoenicia with um, frigates with uh, privateers able to shoot from afar against the netherlands uh, caravels and do significant damage Man, our readers did take a swim here and then started to move from the cities of uh, Phoenicia to the right side. I see Phoenicia also six turns away from getting um, Phoenician Arsenal in his capital. While he's building quite a few more privateers, we do have also Caraval starting to come out from him. Uh, Fanku season 220 science, 114 culture. Uh, he would have a chance to actually go for uh, iron class but i do see ibanka uh, is also going to be quite close to them industrial uh, industrialization coming up in one turn while fankus did manage to finish it uh, kublai khan is three turns out from finishing that one and yeah there we go it looks like uh, france needs to retreat this went from a very good attack plus hesitation equals defensive right this defensive posture loss of the attack loss of the tempo loss of that extra edge that he had against uh, china uh, where is the hurricane going uh, looks like he's just moving around here just zigzagging in the right ocean uh, we do have the chinese frigates also starting to uh, pop out of the cities of xinyang and with those he's uh, gonna start moving up his fleet soon we do need to see when but we're gonna come back to that later uh one city capital city of um, uh, brazil has been taken looks like also sugar he did manage to get curitiba with one of his swordsmen i don't know where that swordsman popped out but that was a good moment in time to pop out now uh, phoenician caravels are also gonna go and bonk against the netherlands caravels in the middle of the um, north pole basically uh, trying to uh, defend any kind of intruders to his territory and i do have to say even though uh, netherlands does have a lot of production 265 he doesn't have a lot of units and these units usually when you have this amount of fleet compared to like a land army or something when um, because of the speed of the um, caravels uh, you actually don't have that much time 
you get three units you get to easily take them down suffering no losses and it does allow you to keep on chipping away at your opponent without giving him the time he needs to actually get his boats out three turning the seven provincians in niche mansion amsterdam wait a second what is this this is a theater square and what is this uh, industrial zone where is the is it here this a plus three industrial zone okay interesting okay sure yeah why not what does he have here this is a 16 production industrial zone this is a 22 production industrial zone and i do have to mention tilburg and then shede are both uh, in the inland cities they won't able they won't be able to actually output that uh, production on the coast and that will be a problem while we do have uh, most of the Phoenician cities except uh, lpqi able to actually put out their production into the coast we do have caravels coming around i do see uh, privateers also from Carthage. you can immediately see how how weak this Carthage city is with only five points of production available for him to uh, use but four turns for Venetian Arsenal that will give him a lot more production towards all of his naval units is gonna matter so much we don't have a single frigate uh, or the seven provision deployed uh, to the north pole uh, to the northern side of the map not to mention in the middle in the north pole uh, the Phoenician uh, units are coming up close to the Netherlands defenders and they will start chewing their strength here very very quickly uh, looking here, yeah, we do have uh, the French units uh, starting to die here. China, 78 against 79. Uh, France still has a plus 6 on him, by the way. Uh, the French level 1 spy is here. We didn't have the second one. What is the second spy? And why don't we see him? Is the second spy in one of the Mongolia, uh, sorry, Netherlands cities? I do see a level 1 here, but that's a Phoenicia, and maybe there's another one. Maybe there's another spy underneath it. Yeah anyway uh porto alegre looks like it's rebelling in 15 turns trying to get the walls in two and of course mapuche did bonk against the industrial uh, the um, encampment is moving up his units so, so he can uh, start doing the damage while phoenicia is coming in from the north with some of his uh, horses and the uh, swordsman to just you know slow down uh, slow down any kind of uh defense from brazil any sense of mongolia's plan uh mongolia's plan is uh, gold at the moment it's just gold i don't think he can i'm pretty sure he's not gonna be afford to actually get the navy out because he just doesn't have a military alliance soon right he's gonna lose they're gonna lose uh, brazil and without a third member l'animal larry uh, is just not gonna have a connection a partner for that military alliance uh, we do have a lot of um, gold that needs to be done also to upgrade the units of fancus um, portos is on 212 uh, points of uh, gold per turn in a dark age with 114 science and 47 culture i do have to say <clears throat> this is quite uh, low wait a second there are a lot of oh no never mind dams i thought that's a preserve kick double i saw the preserve here getting a grove and i was oh my god he's getting another one <clears throat> no he's not no he's not should he build another preserve from al malik on the one one or from urumki preserve gaming bro yeah yeah there we go the french fleet is gonna die the french fleet has no chance over here uh China would definitely need a few more quadrants and frigates he's getting them he's getting them okay we need like three four more yeah hey very very close to getting to that um, 40 likes there uh, ricardo also good evening sir and welcome a missed opportunity to recreate the final battle of the pirates of the caribbean wait I, I, oh i need to see that movie yeah that's uh, another caravel that didn't manage to make it out it looks like uh yeah the other one didn't and we do have um <laughs> Uh, wait a second okay quite a few trades going on but it looks like china does have uh, the bigger stick here he's uh, managing to take out the level one french uh, caravel and also doing damage to uh, those galleys if he does manage to eat into these galleys these are pre-builds sugary it did get his pre-builds on the front line uh, i think okay there is a, a bit of a logic in this and i can explain 
a lot of the times if you do have a significant advantage against your opponent and the distance between you and your opponent is quite big you want to bring your reinforcements with you sometimes those reinforcements are in the form of the previous technology units not uh, your current technology although that is kind of risky because you really need to know you need to know like 95 percent that you're gonna <clears throat> have a city on the front line that you can upgrade from otherwise those reinforcements are just gonna be weaker than everything else and they're just it's not like you can move the equipment from one to the other if one gets weak right you give it to the other one it's not gonna work like that you actually need to upgrade them in somewhere safe um he thought he was going to take a city yeah exactly he thought he was going to take a city but he did not and uh, China is managing to repair a, a few more units. He's getting his own spiles from Samarkand. It might be that he didn't ever see a city from France to put a spine. Yeah, he never saw a city of France. That's why. And now he sees a city of France. That's Curitiba. This is, this is actually quite a mistake from Sugary to take the city of Curitiba. He just revealed himself uh, to China for the spine. So he basically will lose the plus, uh, uh, plus three advantage that he has against uh, China. This is going to make it easier for China to keep on bonking. And the trades were very good, I gotta say. Also north, let's see. It's about to go down. We do have extra intel on opponents' movements from the Phoenician caravels. And yes, we do see the Netherlands caravels are uh, taking quite a bit of damage here. You know, two level 1 caravels are moving up and uh, they will get an extra plus 7 from the emblem from... Oh, plus 5 actually. Oh, it got toned down to plus 5. Okay, that makes uh, makes it a little bit uh, easier to handle on the defense. Uh, the Zevens, one the Zeven showed up in Granada for the defense. Do we have another one? Yes, Nishbajan is getting one. Oh, and he's trying to get Venetian, but a bit too late. Yeah, way too late. 8 times for Venetian in Amsterdam. Well, that's not going to finish. We got next the Venetian Arsenal finishing up in Ibanka. Ibanka. Yeah, it's happening. Okay, Dams coming up in uh, Axu. Portos uh, will manage to get a few more upgrades going. He didn't get a few boats here, but uh, I can't really say this is a fleet. Uh, getting some horses out, finishing up the grove in uh, Kokekota and building up an entertainment complex. Nobody did actually go for uh, Colosseum between them. Looks like they don't like amenities. Now we do have uh, quite a few French also frigates coming around. They will do significant damage against the Chinese caravels, but unfortunately they will also take a, a lot, a large amount of damage on their side if they're going to get attacked. So we're going to need to see if uh, Jules Forart is going to manage to keep on reinforcing his fleet and add more numbers by the time he's actually getting to the borders of France. With um, Porto Alegre managing to get the walls up, it does seem like Mapuche will need a few more turns uh, to actually do the damage uh, against that city center. Mm, to be honest, maybe next turn. Uh, these men at arm can actually shave off all of that wall advantage. He does have the battery ammo anyway next to him, and I think he has a CAD or something. Yeah, he does have a CAD. That's why he's doing full damage. Uh, we do have a musket man next to that city center also with a plus six intel on Brazil. That's definitely going to bonk hard. Now, I do see Netherlands is managing to spy Einuk and I do see Banca did manage to recruit Santa Cruz and Francis Drake on his side. I uh, did... Uh, no, we didn't have any... Mm. Brazil. Okay. Mongolia did manage to get an admiral on Phoenicia too. Okay. No admiral on Dutch though. Does Dutch actually have an admiral? He does have Himerius. Okay, he does. He does. He does have Himerius. And now with the, um, <clears throat> the Zeven Provision, it's going to be easier for him to defend. Unfortunately, oh, there is a problem. Phoenicia is invading through the middle of the earth over here. And Ibanka will start taking down the caravels of Netherlands. While we do have um, the cities of Netherlands also scrambling to get more units out, he's uh, doing this uh, slowly though. Uh, we do have a frigate fleet with a frigate, a level 1s, and I do see more coming in. Zenki is also showing up over there, and I don't have to mention, Netherlands does not have a second uh, angle for both sides. We do have uh, Fonisha sending a lot more uh, catapults and building up the privateers. Now that he did finish Venetian Arsenal, he's getting so much strength, in his, uh, so much um, production towards these uh, units 
Uh, Funisha did manage to get through the first wall, through the choke point. This is going to make it easier for him to uh, deploy his numbers here. While he doesn't have a third um, ranged unit, he will need to get one here. I'm actually a bit surprised he's not sending this privateer to the east side. He would really need it here, not here. He already has quite a few of those. Anyway, now let's see. China, Jules are for art. It's not moving yet. He needs to move. He needs to move. Upgrade and move. Upgrade and move. Uh, getting more industrial zones, getting that production going. We do have actually China managing to get 260 points of production. I do have to uh, point out the difference in production here. Catherine de Medici, 108. Jules Forard, 260. Yes, sure, he does have three cities that will not be able or easily able to actually get units out on the coast, but I'm pretty sure he can make it out. Like Handan can definitely. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's actually getting a canal out. No, he's just uh, waiting for it, the factory to build up before he's going to get that one going. Uh, Galileo Galilei got picked up. That means uh, the scientists get did get opened. So let's see. Netherlands did get both Ib Khaldun and Newton. He's gonna get a free university and a library plus the um, extra two science on each of his universities. And while uh, we're gonna need to see if he's gonna manage to actually get uh, more happiness. Zero. Zero, 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 zero. How long until Dutch gets fleets? Uh, let's see. Nationalism from Kublai in two. Nationalism from Fankus in two. Uh, Ivanka is gonna get it in eight. Okay. I mean, to be honest, there is so much more culture on Fankus. I'm so surprised it's only eight, uh, like six times difference between them. I'm so surprised about this. Uh, this basically means that Fankus just moved around and got uh, quite a few other policies instead of getting this. Uh, like going for nationalism he fooled around oh well it is what it is yep the Mew Mew has been taken down we do have him split apart here one city each one city for Dino one city for Mapuche one city for France Okay, we do have the Chinese uh, fleet moving towards the French borders and uh, yes, there are quite a few boats uh, that need uh, promotions here. He doesn't have on all of them. That's uh, going to be unfortunate. Uh, but the uh, ones in the front line do manage to get those promotions up and I do notice the French galleys at the moment are not yet in range of uh, actually upgrading themselves uh, into catapults in the city of Ruins borders. And also a bit surprised that the frigates are not coming out to help this. Uh, I'm pretty sure with the lack of catapults, they, they, he will put the frigates in harm's way if he actually goes too far into the chain into uh, the deep ocean we do have a harbor out from coming out from china to the south getting it in, uh, from his capital that's going to be good to allow his capital's production to work on this uh, southern coast while uh, we do have the netherlands boats also needing to fix the problem in the north and fix the problem in the middle uh, we do have a few more the Vezevans showing up <clears throat> I do see at the moment he has uh, three, four of them, uh, three of them to choose actually to use. While Ibanka does have uh, extra strength on his cannibals, it does seem like uh, Netherlands without an admiral is very, very weak. <clears throat> the Zevens are actually dying in two shots from these cannibals. Intel opponents, oligarchy legacy, and balloon promotion, all of those bonuses do stack. Not to mention the admiral is over there on the front line. Oof, oof. Oh man, this is so much damage. Uh, he doesn't have... Oh, he does have movement. Okay. So he can take out one, two... I think two car Maybe three boats of Netherlands. Without taking... Losing one single unit. If he moves right. Like, he needs to take this one out. He needs to move this one uh, next to... Another one here. Move the frigate fleet up. Attack the caravel. Uh, do, uh, immediately after the caravel attack... Uh, the frigate attack attack without... Uh, with a car Okay, there we go. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh no, a bit different. He didn't know about this one. Okay, that's taken. That's two boats down. Three boats down. Three boats? I nailed it. Three boats. Three boats. Actually, uh, if I look at this correctly, he could have taken down four bolts. Uh, Dido finish Venetian answer? Yes. Yes, he did. Uh, Battle of Granada finishes this game. <laughs> yeah. 
I guess uh, the battle in the north is still raging. Uh, the admiral is still not uh, showing up on the fr on the um, side of Netherlands in the main cities, and yes, he's calling up his units, but it's useless. The, at this point, it's useless. Look, look how much damage this frigate fleet is doing. 83 against the 69 defense of the Netherlands Catapult fleet. That's a fleet. Okay, boats here in the south. Looks like uh, China went ahead, uh, full speed ahead against the uh, French Navy. He wanted to see how much France uh, does have for remaining. And we do have uh, Sugar here with 664 strength. I do have to point out, Wilhelmina is in trouble. Kublai Khan may be doing the damage against France, but Dido will rule the seas. We do have an uh, intelligence agency showing up here from Ibanka. Looks like he's sending uh, reinforcements. Uh, while I do see most of the Mapuche units are actually going towards the northeast here. And we're going to see if the four privateers are gonna manage to help him uh, bridge the defenders of uh, the north ah uh, yeah th this is uh this is finished also by the looks of it like this is uh one caravel that's gonna die probably next turn does he have a promotion no and he's not gonna get one uh then another one will die but i think uh, this one i think this one not this one this one uh he's missing a frigate here in the south to actually uh, take out this Take that one now. Anyway, let's see how Forisha is going to approach the next uh, attacks. He does need to be careful to keep his uh, frigates alive, though. These are extremely important. They're giving him so much of an advantage. <clears throat> and I do have to point out the Netherlands is pumping out three boats uh, every other turn, though. So, uh, yeah, that is a strong reinforcement rate. It might not be enough, though. If he's losing the north, which is kind of guaranteed that he's going to lose the north, uh, the middle is going to be quite juicy. Very juicy. Okay, that's another unit taken down. He should bonk. He should bonk. Okay, he's promoting. He should bonk this turn. He should take down this caravel fleet uh, strength. And also hit the provincian. Does he have? Yes, he has. Uh, he has the speed. Come on, Ibanka, do it. Mm. No, yeah, there we go. Bonking one, and bonking two. There we go. Uh, the figure coming up from the back, he did get the level 1 promotion, and I do have to point out they're taking out these Dezevans in uh, two shots. Now, while uh, I do want to double check if Fankus is going to be able to take an Admiral, no, he's not. He's 200 points away from an Admiral, but he did manage to get to Iron Clans. Well, I gotta say, the same thing I said before about the fleets. This is kind of late. This is kind of late. That's a dead Iron Clan. Okay, Ironclad's in the north. That seems like a is gonna be in a bit more trouble here. We do need to see uh, how quickly is he gonna manage to get to Ironclad's. Did he get them? No, he did not. He's on gunpowder in two turns, nationalism in four. While he is still pumping out um, his intelligence agency, he was pumping out caravels. Actually, uh, I don't see the production at the moment for a caravel to see if he's one turning them. Uh, in the south, looks like also China is getting pushed back by the frigates of France. Uh, looks like uh, he did not manage to get to couple his uh, fleet with his opponent, with his uh, cannibals. And unfortunately, couldn't do enough damage quickly to uh, the boats of France. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. He went a bit too fast on this. He needed to keep his units clumped up, so he guarantees the damage. Uh, there are no reinforcements coming out from China at the moment. He is getting some cannibals, two turning them in most of his cities, actually three on the west side, while he's going to get a spy from Beijing. Uh, we do have him still needing to finish the factory in hand and to get to work on the canal there. Actually dig his way out from, the, uh, from that lake into the main ocean. Uh, do we have any... So there is one more ironclad here. Okay, now ironclads popping out of the Dutch series will make it easier for Fankus to actually defend himself. I do have to point out they're going to expose uh, themselves to um, Diplo here. We do have Statue of Liberty coming out from Persia and it does seem like uh, he did... No, he did not actually get to build... Oh, he did build Mahabori Temple. And in this, we did have him getting the extra two Diplo points at the beginning. He might roll another two Diplo points. He's on six out of 20. 
Danny. So that means uh, 9 out of 20 with statue, maybe 12 out of 20 with this congress. So they would be like two congresses away from getting this. 13 out of 20 uh, uh, because he's going to get Potala also from uh, Shari Kumis. Uh, could go for Newton, maybe, 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 if they do manage to get uh, like uh, all three options uh, this time around in this um, Congress, they're going to manage to actually um, get the win in the next Congress, not this one, in the next Congress. Okay, we're going to have a quick pause over here. Oh, that's a CC. That's a CC right there. Oh, its face may change Ooh. throughout the ages. Who CC'd? Lani Maleri? Uh, uh, probably Lani Maleri, right? Senat, uh, Le Senat were uh, managing to get um, the Navy going against their opponents. Were managing to actually keep four players alive while um, they were pushing in the Diplo. They By knew their opponent's day, weakness was the ability to vote into the Congress, or I should say the lack there of the ability of to vote into the Congress. And that gave them the edge to win this this game it does seem like uh we do have quite a few changes in the bbg oh in the meta right we got uh moksha showing up more we got reina showing up more magnus is still getting used now uh, you see magnus is still getting used and uh, we do have also bingala of course uh, mainstay over there and i don't see amani traders did you see amani trading i don't i did not see amani trading i didn't see it i didn't see it okay uh i do want to move into the channel here give me a second because i'm uh, i'm getting there i'm getting there uh pu -pu 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 -pu. give me a sec do you see this no Okay, give me a second going in. Uh, we're going to hear quite a bit of French, uh, French, right? We're um, in the French community, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me put them on the correct output. There we go. And where are they? Where are they? Where are they hiding? Oh, 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 oh. I don't see them in the same channel, actually. Par contre, le premier, il était pas tous, il était commencé sur une île, donc ça allait en fait. Ouais. ouais mais on... là, euh, dans les CS, on voit Akkad euh, assez rapidement, et on essaie de trouver des trucs euh, pour qu'il puisse escape, et on n'en voit pas. Hein. Et j'ai gardé mes émissaires. Et, et il s'use un peu tard. Hein. J'ai gardé, j'ai gardé, j'ai mis la carte, j'ai pris. Ouais, tout. dès qu'il allait suivre un truc, on a dû le prendre en fait. On était deux à garder nos émissaires. Ouais. On allait pas laisser partir ceci. GG, well played. GG, thank you. GG. Thank you. Well, I gotta say, I was a bit confused what what you wanted to do on Persia, but I think you got like you were you kept on changing your uh, uh, direction, right? On... Uh, Quelqu'un peut parler en anglais pour moi, s'il te plaît. Vas-y. Pas arrêter de changer de direction uh, sur les. Trucs. Ouais, mais j'ai ah, compris, mais en parler. Non, en fait, ouais. moi, ce qui s'est passé, c'est que bah, je savais que le mapouche allait pousser. C'est juste que s'il est arrivé trop, le, le président est trop. Uh, in you, I will kill it with my pouch, but he was afraid he came too early. If he came too early, he wasn't ready, so. Et après, c'était dur la game. Pas de and, uh, after that, he lost. He, was, he didn't have enough production yeah, for the, yeah, yeah. the game. Because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Was it was pressure early, forced mm -hmm. him to do some optimal play. Pas de discount, pas de discount, rien du tout. Yeah, yeah, it was slow. That, that's what I'm saying. You, you, it felt like you changed directions multiple times because of uh, what was going on in the game. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we rapidly knew he had to go for diplomatic wonders. Yeah, and uh, he had no battle enough in the fight on water, so just back lane, uh, try to sim, but uh, he then he all goals to go and uh, fight him. Mm -hmm. Because we need to be sure to control uh, so Brazil never escape. And to kill, quoi. And I'll yeah. a little bit of gold to kill him. Uh, is this how Tilted actually responds right now with uh, East versus yeah, West? Because uh, you have it like three times, man. Yes, uh, 
today uh, some multiple game like that or maybe we i we i know that in the last uh, mph update he added uh, the option to do isasus west yeah isasus west but uh, we didn't maybe touch also the normal behavior maybe it's uh, a bug i will ask him yeah maybe maybe we can't uh, disable this feature Ouais, tout est clair, hein. Je vais marquer oui. quand même. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, stream, by the way. Uh, GG, well played. GG. Good night. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, they're excited to go to sleep, and uh, I do have to say, we just uh, finished uh, the first game that we get to see with PPG Beta. Uh, let's see what will happen in the next ones. We are looking forward to see, um, or I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow with uh, quite a few more trainings. In the weekend, we do have quite a busy weekend with the three-legged bridge and also the Luther Cup qualifiers. We're going to need to uh, take a look who's going to get in there. Now, we're still waiting for uh, um, Thursday to actually make uh, the lists. Stay tuned. I'm gonna um, uh, make quite a, uh, announcements on my uh, Discord, and we're also gonna open up the feedback session for the CWC to see where we stand. Right? What do we need to improve? Have a great evening, everybody. I do want to thank you so much for the subs, for the um, resubs, and also oh, thank you so much, Ibanka. 15 months for the prime. Thank you, sir. And also, that GG well played. Um, easy. Thank you so much for the BDs. Thank you so much for um, the support of the channel. Let's see each other in the next one. Have a great evening. Oh, by the way, oh my God, thank you so much on YouTube for the likes. We got to 39 likes. We're just one more like and we were getting to that 40. Much appreciated, sirs. Um, it's going to take me a few hours to actually put out um, the full video. You're going to get to see it over there in um, the video section. Much appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's see each other in the next one. Bye, bye, bye.